Thanks for coming. Three strikes. OH Outdoors, what's up? OH Outdoors says first. Country Styles in here. This about be lit, he said. Three strikes. TN Outside. Texas Outdoors. Slover Brothers. Mr. P Project. David's Life Outdoors. Sooner Man, what's up? Fishing with Peyton. Oh, man, we're cruising. Alexis. Jackson. Bradley Haney. What's up, everyone? Hey, yeah, nice. Coyote. It was an awesome coyote. He's not Trap Lord Jake, Cedar Man says. No, I'm not Trap Lord Jake. Tonight's drink, sponsored by. <laughs> Just kidding. Seth Mercer, what's up? Northern Lights Goats in the house. Yeah, I can't keep up. Drew Douglas, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I really like the dark, the dark coyotes. I don't, uh, uh, I ain't gonna get nothing out of them unless I sell them like to taxidermy or something, but I really like them. So wine shower 2005, so what's up? Garrett, Pelletier, what's up? BT Trapper. I'm going to slow her down just a hair. Anthony Smart, what's up? Fairyland Fishing. The the 10,000, uh, the, yeah, the 10K giveaway is tomorrow. 7 p.m. Central Time. Larry Douglas says, get him mounted. Austin Haynes, what's up? Buckeye Baston, what's up, buddy? Ryan Wilson, what's up? Kenny Melton says, I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. Zachary Taylor says, you're a good driver. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Right now, all whole coyotes are bringing 50 bucks a piece. You don't have to skin them or nothing. Anything outdoors? What's up? Kenny Melton, I think that goes, I may be dumb, but I'm stupid. Ain't that how you used to say it? Cody, Craig and Bring. Oh, man. I hope I said that somewhat close. Dropping a dollar ninety-nine. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Guys, check them out. Outlaw Outdoors, Oregon says, congrats on the 12K. Appreciate it, man. 166 in the house. 26 thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. I buy my traps from F&T. Ica Pool. Sooner Man dropping a dollar 99 says, name stuff to get as a starter pack. Oh, you're going to need a sifter. That's number one, probably. Well, after the traps. I'd get some dog proofs if you're just starting out. Dog proofs are simple. Hang on a second. Once you get your dog proofs, get you some of these guys and pierce them on your trigger. That will keep the mice busy. They can't eat that whole marshmallow. Plus, a little, put a little bit of something else on top. You'll be catching coons in no time. Shauna's in the house. What's up, Shauna? Get you a hammer. And you can start with rebar stakes for raccoons, but I would move up to Wolfang Anchors. I don't have any in here with me right now, but definitely you want some Wolfang Anchors. Lifesavers. And you don't have to worry about uh, people stealing them as much. Grayson Jacobs dropping a dollar ninety nine says I love your vids. Also, what gun do you use? I use a Smith and Wesson twenty two. I don't have it in here. I can run and grab it here in a minute. She's an oldie. You know, after about three three years of being beat up and just tossed around, it's holding up pretty good. Waldman X Outdoors says, "What's the best trap for coyote?" Well, I used to use. Uh, I usually use uh, K9 Extremes and Bridger number three is fully modified, but you guys have seen in a lot of my vids after Duke gave me a, some of his 550s. That's what I'm going to now. The three dozen of them now. Duke 550s will be all my trail sets, everything next year will all be 550s. Outdoor Action Jackson says, Give me a shout out, please. Hell yeah, there you go. Savage 31408 says, You're lit. You are Trevor Jake, according to Flair. Just keep your eyes out on Flair's. He's got an otter video coming out. You'll see who I really am. I'm Trevor J. Outdoors. 
All right. We're not doing a giveaway today, Jerry. That's tomorrow. Six 550s tomorrow. And then some of my dog proofs. Rube556, blogging channel, says, love you, Trapper J. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for being here. Drake Fast in the house. John Howe, I know I missed some people. Don't be uh, upset about it. TVB Fishing. You are a beefcake in Flair's words. Flair's trapping game has really picked up. You guys will see in his upcoming videos. Outdoor Action Jackson. I just ordered some Duke number three. See, those will work, man. I use number four Dukes for uh, my drowning rods now. I used to use them for just coyote also. Stephen Briggs Outdoors says, thanks for all the great vids. What time tomorrow? He dropped a dollar nine nine. Guys, check out Seven Springs Outdoors. It's at 7 Central, 7 p.m. Central. How do you win tomorrow? I got all the names wrote down. And they'll all be in a hat. It's live. Whoever's name comes out of that hat. And there may be some other stuff, too. I've been, uh... My daughter's going to be drawing on muskrat boards. I don't know what's going to be on it or anything like that. I may do another one of those if she fills up to doing another one. Sh Sean Harmon. What's up, man? What's the best place to set traps for yotes? I usually like to find tracks somewhere or scat, but field edges, usually where I start, right along the edges of the field. They run right along the edges. Northern Lights Goat says, I think I need to put in a few more DPs. Damn things are 25 apiece. Yeah, you're getting them at your local, you must be getting them at one of your local places, but on Amazon, you can get them for $10 a piece. Flare Trapper, his freaking finger. <laughs> my, you guys see my finger, do you? I gotta slow this down or I'll never catch up. 235 in the chat. Hang on, let me get caught up with the chat. I'm, I'm getting blowed behind. I missed somebody. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Man down! Oh no, I failed. Yeah, I was kind of wanting to do this live like this so that, uh, Backwoods Bassin. Thanks for the $9.99, brother. I'm somehow missed it in here. I can see it on the screen, but I just can't see where it is. Apologize, man. <laughs> I see my finger. Man, damn. I don't have any vids yet, but they are coming. Seven Springs Outdoors says. Let me get caught up here on the chat, and then just keep commenting. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> a lot of man down comments. Ned Cash, just please give me a shout out. What's up, Ned? Thanks for coming in. I live in Northwest Missouri. No Mr. Project wants to know, how do you enter the giveaway? You need to go to my giveaway video. It will be going until probably about 3 o'clock tomorrow, and I'll stop taking names. So get in it while you can. Colin wants to know if I trap in any other states. I'm right next to Iowa. I plan on next season, if I can get away from this whole job deal and I'm just trapping, no no work, plan on trapping Iowa. Back with Bass and you dropped 499 also, man. I'm sorry I missed it, brother. This is uh, most people I've had in here, so I'll get better. Grayson Jake says, do we need, do we have to be subbed to be in the hat? It would, I would appreciate it if you were sub, man. There we go. We're caught up now. He caught a big badger. Yes, he did. He's caught some other stuff, but I don't. I can't give it away unless you're on his Instagram. Then you'll see it. Do you do a lot of waterfowl or other hunting? I've never... I've killed ducks, but it's never sitting in a fancy blind or anything like that. Maybe next year. Shot my first coyote of 2020 on the New Year's, and I seem to have heard a lot. And I might start trapping because of you. That's awesome, man. Fish in the mitten, what's up? Thanks for coming in, guys. 254 in the chat. Share out the stream if you can. We'll get some new people. 
Chug some white claws for the boys. Mendak Outdoors, what's up? Thanks for coming in, Mendak Outdoors. No, no white claws, brother. We're just gonna do this tonight. Man down in Southern Illinois. Nicholas Pulley Outdoors, thanks, brother. I need to get you blue also. Suderman says, I got two dog proofs, but I don't have any steaks. They're pretty uh, simple to make, but most places you can buy them too. I think even Bass Pro has uh, steaks. Jonathan Brink, $2, says, where is the best spot on the body to shoot a yoke? Right in the armpit. Just like you would a deer. Just give it a try and once you'll see that there's hardly any blood. So clean. And it's just, it's way better. And they, it doesn't take long at all. It's not, people think that you shoot them in the lungs and they're just going to run around and breathe heavy and all that. This, they go straight down. You inspired me to get out and try trapping. So I went and bought some Duke number threes and caught a damn squirrel. That's it. Hell, <laughs> you'll get him, man. It takes time. I've been doing this a long time. Judith Davis, yes, yeah, says just cable the dog proof to a tree. Yes, good, good uh, comment. I forgot about that. You'll see that in some of my dog proof videos. I got an extension. Put a loop on your cable to where it goes over your dog proof. Nate 408, what's up? Says have a drink on me, bud. Thanks for the five dollars, brother. Cheers, man. Ponham's Outdoors is in the house. Says my service sucks. Keeps kicking me off the line. Hey, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it, man. My, uh, Mr. Big Time. My, uh, buddy Adam Sherwin just texted me. Said he's in the live. He should be in the live commenting. What's up, Adam? NNS Outdoors, what's up? Wild, Act, Wild Man Act X Outdoors says most valuable fur. It's going to be the bobcat for me, man. Hold, hold you use a squirrel or rabbit parts for coyote baits. How do you? Yeah, you can just put the guts down in a hole or something like that. I always use the fur. You guys seen George. I had to let him go so he can get his fur back, though. Tubby Guy Outdoors. Dropping 279. 550s catch everything. How's the thumb, bud? Thumb's good. We're good to go. That, like, happened really fast. Even in the video, it was, I'm like, geez, it just was so dang fast. My hands are so slippery. The Mosier boy's in here. What's up, buddy? Aiden, Avid Hunter. TR, Nirene X. What's up, man? Thanks for coming in. Guys, hit that thumbs up for me. I got a new delivery today. Let's check it out, shall we? And I have not checked my P.O. box, but if anybody happens to send me a hoodie or something, I'll be wearing it. I had a... Uh, man down, man down! I had a... Uh, look at this. Aren't they pretty? Say hello to my little friends. Oh, them Duke 550s are so pretty. Six of them are going to a lucky person tomorrow. I'm gonna die. I'm going to boil them. They will be oil free, but uh, it'll be up to someone to get their anchors though. Just in that box, me Ponham says. Tyler Fayla, what's up? Tyler, are you gonna be here tomorrow? Trapping and living says I caught three bobcats today. That's a hell of a day, man. That's awesome. Outdoor Doug, I have a giveaway video. I can't, it's probably two weeks, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I was at 3K and I did. I said I'm gonna do a giveaway at 10K. So here we are at 12K. North, True North Angler, what's up? Oh man, Tyler, you suck. Hudson K coming in, dropping 499s with a little uh, exercise and chicken, saying keep it up. Appreciate it, thank you, Hudson. To North Angler, Happy New Year to you too. Jason Housel's in the house. We got 270 in the house, 132 thumbs up. What's a good trap for starters, LOL? What do you want to trap? I I would start with dog proofs. I, they didn't have them when I started. 
And then uh, the cheapest way to go would be uh, the one, the one and a half. That's what I, you know for raccoon PVC pipe set or something like that. All right, Backwoods Bassin dropping two ninety nine. Guys, check out Backwoods Bassin. Thanks, brother. Do you respect the flop, Jeopardy? What are we talking about? I use uh, Macon. Let's know what do you recommend trapping on a beaver dam? I like to do a dam break with a foothold. Number four or larger is my preference. I've used threes before. Just spent 800 F, F and T, man. Nicholas says I love the intro, it's slick me. Oh man, let's see here. Wow, Chad is flying through, I think I'll just watch. Wow, yeah, it's cruising, try being on this end. Yes, I've heard of coyote trapping school. Trapping and living. Hudson K dropping another two ninety nine. Thank you, Hudson. Appreciate it. Can you show us some of your bobcat shirt first? They're in the freezer. I have not killed a deer. I'm pretty uh, well slacking. I come pretty close yesterday. Caden, to become a mod, you, you just come in here. I, I'll, I'll start adding more people, but these are people that, everyone in blue has been with me since the beginning. Lane, the uh, this is what I'm gonna be using for Bobcat from now on. Soul Taker from Jeff Dunlap. He, this is what he recommended. Pretty much I just use the same thing I use for coyotes I use for the, for Bobcat. You are cool, man down, love it, bro. Thank you. Fairland Fishing, do a trapping arsenal at the end of the season. Yeah, I definitely will once I get everything in here and it's all piled up. Tyler and I'm the cameraman when I don't have to work. Yeah, when this gets big enough, you won't have to, you'll just be the cameraman. Swamp Donkey 530, what's up? MTN Tough Outdoors. Thanks for coming in here. During the summer, do we snake catch, clean, and cook? I don't have the kind of snakes around here. I got a bull snake that maybe might taste somewhat good, but it's usually just gardener snakes and black snakes. I got quite a few raccoons in here right now. I'm well over 100. But just in here, there's probably... Close to 75 in here, thawing out at the moment. Hey, I will use muskrat floats if it's uh, there's no ice, but it, it's been uh, pretty horrible the last few years. Lance, I have not checked my P.O. box in a couple days. I will check it out in the morning, man. Every time I... Uh, do this on the trap. I'm like, one of these times it's going to get me again. Eliah Meyer says, tell Flair. I said, oh, I will, buddy. He'll probably, he might be in here. Mindac Outdoors is in, he was in here a little bit ago. 275 in the house, 149 likes. I appreciate the thumbs up, guys. Are you going to go squirrel hunting? Yes. You know, I don't know if you've seen that video, but uh, pretty much gonna go kill some squirrels because that's crazy that they just hop around when i when i'm not looking for them hudson k dropping another dollar 99 you know you don't need to drop the super chats but i appreciate it gopro and gopro accessories will be coming tell flair i said hi i will hudson watch for him he might be live tomorrow he was talking about doing lives on saturdays Just started trapping and I need help. Any tips? Find me on Instagram or Facebook and message me. It'd be a whole lot easier. I'll send you a rattlesnake to cook. Trapper Jay. Actually, in June, I might be coming back to your area when I go to Florida. Backwoods Bass and dropping another two ninety nine. Guys, if you want to grow, he wants to grow. Check out his channel and he'll check yours out. Caden, I go to Nebraska to take my furs in.
What's your favorite trap set? My favorite is the blind step down. If you got a slope, slope hill like this, cut you a step and put any trap you want on there. Don't even cover it up. You'll get whatever comes walking down that trail. My P.O. box is 204. Rockport, Missouri, 64482. I got it in my about page. Kyle Mooney, I will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central. 302 in the chat, guys. That's awesome. Appreciate it, guys. This is just a uh, Cadence in Riverton. I'm not very far from there. Tons of muskrats there, Caden. Big deer. Lots of pheasants. It's awesome. You might see me trap in that direction next year which you going to florida you may as well drop by north carolina for a day yeah that's possible man sean's from omaha awesome i i go to council bluffs i grew up in around council bluffs iowa so yeah my insta is trapper j outdoors my facebook is trapper j outdoors just send me a message. I've been answering them like crazy. I try to keep up. Just be patient. Garrett lives in New Hampshire. Nicholas Pulley at Outdoors. Guys, check him out. He says I might go hunting tomorrow. Do it. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Man down. I'm pretty good at getting like beat up out there just so everybody knows that's where the man down kind of came from and then every time i see someone that i love or my buddies fall down you know <laughs> hudson case has come to wilmington north carolina we have wild boar that'd be awesome lane good one outdoors wants a shout out says can i get a shout out hell yeah you can thanks for coming in lane Nathan says, I enjoy your awesome videos. I just got back into Minnesota, moved here from Alaska. Man, I'd love to go to Alaska. You got balls of steel, sir. I about went down in the beaver dam, and that is all he was saying. Man, damn, he was thinking. I was like, let me get this taken care of, then I'll come help you. Yeah, senior man, it's doing pretty good. I'm sorry, I can't find the video I looked. It says giveaway. It's not a vlog, it's just a straight giveaway. It's probably 10 down or so. Well, I missed something. Garrett Pelletier. Here's your shout out, guys. Check him out. Thanks for coming in. Fireland Fishing wants a shout out. There's your shout out. Check out Fireland Fishing. I seen three dogs late last night. Linkless Tennessee says I'm down and I can't get up. Hello. That's just got age. That's your age issues. <laughs> Bait and lure set for Red Fox. I'd go dirt hole and just whatever you can whatever you can use. I'm not I when I shoot these squirrels, I'm gonna use the fur and I'm gonna use the guts and you know whatever else I don't you know the head. And everything. I'll just stick a head in a hole looking out. And a lot of times I'll get a coyote with both both feet in the trap. Boxy Outdoors and Adventures. What's up? Thanks for coming in. What did Mink Outdoors say? I didn't see it. Hudson K says, look up. Respect the flop. Definitely have to. Thanks for the super chat, Hudson. B&O Outdoors, what's up? Hey, B&O, we had 302 in here, brother. Guys, check out B&O Outdoors. He just went live. He does a lot of grow streams. If you guys are looking to grow your channel, go check out B&O Outdoors. He'll sit in there and, and push for you to get grow. Definitely need to check him out. Judith Davis says, try a 110 baited with peanut butter for squirrel. Definitely going to try that. I got him right here. I'm going to put the marshmallow on the trigger and then put some peanut butter on that. Hopefully this weekend I'll get some footage of that. 
Meek Meek says a lot of things. So, uh, Meek Outdoors has his first trapping video coming up. Bill Duke is in here. Oh, I missed him. Hang on, I'm gonna look. There he is. You're my hero, Bill Duke says. Hey, I, I'm, look at this, Bill. You're probably tired of seeing this, you know, but I'm not. That's dozen number three. And hopefully when the 650s come out, I can get some of those. Bill Duke in the house. Thanks for coming in, Bill. I got people messaging me where to get the 550s, where to get the 550s. Andrew Eikhoff, can I get a shout out? Yes, you can. There you go, Andrew. Thanks for coming in here. Favorite bait and lure right now is a Hellfire for my lure. Got to have it in every hole, no matter what. Bob can anything. Put you some Hellfire in there and any kind of bait. But right now, this is going to be my primary bait from now on. Soul Taker. Would like to try the 650 if and when they put them out. Yeah, me too. I can't wait. Sorry if I'm missing anybody. Fleming's has the Duke 550s. You can go straight to Bill Duke himself and get the 550s. He's got a website. Just Google Duke Traps. I just got my 550s and I think they will be my go-to. My go-to. Gonna love them. I love them. He's probably getting tired of me sending him pictures of coyotes in him. Where do I get Hellfire? I get mine from F and T. <laughs> yeah. My boss is texting, says don't drink too much, you'll be man down. I get my Hellfire from F and T. A lot of my stuff comes from F and T. More crack it dids. Let's see. Thanks for the awesome traps, Bill Duke. Love them all. Ken Howard. What size traps for Fox? I would use, like I say, you're going to hear me just say it over and over again. Whatever I do for coyotes is the same thing for Fox. I'll just, I'm trying to trap coyotes and I'll catch the Fox. So any size trap, but I'd go one and three quarter up to, uh, the one, the, uh, these 550. If you're just strictly got Fox, then you don't need a bridger number three or anything like that. But this is it right here. I got my first Duke 550, love it. I appreciate you getting them, trying them out, guys. Anyone that's, uh, I'm not a <laughs> quit your job, Jay. I want to, even though my boss is watching right now. I'd like to be able to just trap full time someday, you know, because you only live for so long, right? Backwood Bass and drop another two ninety nine. Appreciate it, brother. You don't have to drop all them super chats like that, but I really appreciate it. I just put the link to Duke Trap website. Sweet, brother. Appreciate it. He's got the link, Buckeye Bass, and if you want to go check out Bill Duke's website, check out that link that Buckeye Bass and is running right now you can go back and watch my vlogs i don't do nothing but pull the coyote out push the pan down you hear that click and you're going that's all you need to do caden harris what's up says can i get a shout out hell yeah caden thanks for coming in here is a bridger number two four coil enough to hold a beaver you're gonna get your beaver if you go uh front foot but you ain't, you might not get him on your back foot. I'd prefer a bigger trap. Brenda Views is in the house. She's running my T, my T uh, spring account. Trapper J merch. Appreciate it, Brenda. Hudson K, do y'all have bears where y'all are? I don't have bears. They're north and south of me. Tyler's saying hello to his mom. Justin Chapel, what's up? How far away am I from the... Okay, I'm almost there. Brenda Views is awesome. Headed to the house. Hope you're still alive when I get home. Appreciate it, b &O. Thanks for coming in, man. Uh, 
Let's see. Sean is running Bill Duke's website. Do you use Beaver Caster for yotes? Sometimes. I'm getting ready to make something that's, uh, you guys are going to laugh, and I probably shouldn't even mention it, but I'm getting ready to try to do my own bobcat bait, guys, and you ain't going to believe the name, but I can't tell you. I'm going to have to keep it a secret, but it's going to be a beaver beaver uh, meat base, and my boss is getting ready to text me, I know it right now, about the name, but uh, maybe I'll let it slip tomorrow night in the live stream. But hopefully I'll have some of my own uh, bait coming out. So I'm keeping on my caster and all that stuff. So I might give some away to try. Richard Deaton, what's up, man? It says, keep your feet dry and your hands dirty. You guys go to any video on my channel and see if you don't see that comment right there. I love it. I appreciate you coming to my channel, man. And always leaving awesome comments. Appreciate the $10 super chat brother shout outs mtm tough outdoors it's a shout out texas outdoors wants a shout out steven uh, i keep seeing steven seven springs outdoors says i caught two labs it's uh it'll happen i always worry about when i'm gonna get an aggressive dog but so far so good Remember, we're we're trapping. We're trying to trap canines. Dogs are right there. Nathan Thornhill says the dog gave me a dollar ninety nine. Says loves the vlog. Keep them coming. Trying hard. Sometimes it's tough. I'm pretty good at catching possums today. We're gonna get there. Ten thousand subs. What? Ten thousand more. We're at 12,000 now, brother. I work for the city, Savage. I caught a damn cat to DP. Some people catch foxes in their DPs, but I've never done it. Favorite coyote sets a dirt hole. I run a lot of dirt holes or blind sets. Occasionally, there's a kitten. And they're usually not very friendly. They'll tear your boots up when you're letting them out of the trap. What's in the cup? A little bit of Southern Comfort and some Pepsi tonight. <laughs> I did not fix my tire, Texas Outdoors. That tire shot. Shauna's still running Bill Duke's website. I appreciate it, Shauna. Buckeye Bass is running Bill Duke's website. I had a... Uh, I actually had the... Brand new tires. I bought four of them right before trapping season. I only had two put on. So I had the tires. I just had to go get them put on. How do you get a timber wolf out of a foothold? Boy, that'd be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of people use a piece of plywood. You know, a big piece of plywood. With just a small hole cut in it. So you can just put it down right there. On the other side of the trap. And you can reach down and put the trap out. That's how people will get rid of their bobcats too. A lot of states uh, suck and they don't have a bobcat season. Jason Minnick, thanks for coming in, man. Got my boy some traps. He's going to tomorrow to set them. Thanks to Trevor J videos. Helped him get out of the house. That's awesome. Uh, one time I had a beer bottle in my trap. Judah North Angler. He wanted to know what the straight, strangest things I ever trapped. Someone stuck a beer bottle in it. Get a lot of sticks. People find my traps and stick sticks in them. <laughs> Misty says, I show Mason when you get more werewolves. LOL. Oh. Ori Jaring. Gehring. Says, can I get a shout out? Yeah, you can have a shout out. 320 in the house. Hit that thumbs up, guys. 204 thumbs up. Let's see how high we can get the thumbs. It's the like button. Just hit that like button. Pound it. Pound that like button. Hey, it's moving now. Hit them likes. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. What kind of traps do you recommend for hogs? They got a foot snare that I would recommend for hogs. I don't know. I don't know nothing about trapping hogs, but that's what I would do. 
Otherwise, you get that big, huge corral. You get a gate on there, and then when it goes down, they're stuck in there. I've seen that before. How do I enter the giveaway? Just started trapping this year and really like your vids. Keep them up. Yeah, I got a giveaway video, guys. About 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it's cut and cut off. If you're not in it, I can't help that. You'll have to enter in the next giveaway. I'm not sure. That'll probably be a two uh, 20,000. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. What do I got? <laughs> Let's see. I am not Trap Lord George Jake. He lives not too far from me also, but that's not me. But I will be in Flair's video here soon. Jen Palmer, thank you for coming in, Mom. Have you ever thought about making trapping a full-time job? About every single day. As soon as it starts paying for itself a little bit. Cannot find the like button. It should look like this, kind of. I'm going to start shooting squirrels, freezing them to give to you. I want to do a video on the roadkill squirrels that I pick up. And uh, I freeze them solid, and I use a chop saw. Look like uh, half dollars. I need to do a video on that. Cody Paul wants a shout out. Thanks for coming in, Cody Paul. New York Outdoorsman, I caught a German Shepherd. Was he friendly? Because I caught a, uh, the same dog three times in, one, in a different foot every time before I finally took it to the homeowner three miles away. Third time, I'm in Missouri, Timothy Wilcox. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Read Description. That's awesome. That's an awesome name. You can get a shout out, Read Description. Sean Griff says you're freaking savage. Are you trying to watch Trapper Jay and your girlfriend is texting you? <laughs> Sooner man. Sooner man, you ever go noodling? ZHTV dropping dollar ninety nine. Guys, check him out. He just started dropping trapping videos today. Well, it's been a few days, but he's got a video up today, I believe. The machine is live. Didn't you post a possum video today, ZHTV? Judith Davis says, need to put out a DVD trapping series series on each species. Yeah, I had talked to my daughter about that before, and she said nobody would watch it. <laughs> She's in here right now. Yeah, Shauna said, Timothy Wilcox, Missouri. Trapper J lives in Missouri. Sorry, Chet is flying. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up. 290 thumbs up. Caught the opossum by the tail, not the feet. Awesome. I've done that too. I had a great big one today also. You'll see it maybe. 330 Maniac. Where is he? Did he come in here again? 330 in the house. I missed him. He's just sneaking on by. He needs to be blue. Oh, man. He gone. Man down. Guys, go check out 330 Maniac's channel. If you don't have him, you should. Been around a long time. There he is. I'm here, he says. Hang on one second. You should be blue now, 330. He's talking about doing merch. Who here thinks 330 Maniac should have some merch? Mo Trapper, what's up? Hey, what part of you, what part of the state are you in, Mo Trapper? Yeah, he does have some sweet vids. Guys, check him out. Talking about making merch. Southwest Missouri, huh? You're going to be straight across the from me. I'm in Northwest. Make me blue, Trapper J. I can't make everyone blue. Just don't do, don't be blocking anybody or anything if you guys become moderators. Boxy wants to see some 330 Maniac uh, merch. I live three miles from Nebraska, Alex. Right on the border. Well, right along the river. Man down! Yeah, I think he definitely needs some merch. 
316 in the house, and he needs to go live too. Don't you, 330? I'm going to do some rabbit hunting as soon as we get a little bit of snow. I'm going to go buy one of them fancy old pellet guns that everybody tells me I need to do from Walmart, and I'm going to make some vids that way. As soon as the trapping's over, I can kind of focus on other stuff, guys. I, I'm just trapping, trapping, trapping. But I'm going to do some squirrel trapping this weekend, so watch for those videos. And I got a new farm. Yeah, right, if we ever get snow. Hey, I don't want no snow. Really, I really don't. I don't want to have to work. Backwoods Bassing, dropping another $1.99. You're blue, brother. Congratulations. I think you are, anyways. Hang on a second. Did you turn blue? I don't catch your, your comments unless you're dropping Super Chat, it seems like. You don't have to drop so many of them, by the way. Dan, regular or like coyote and bobcat and everything stops on the 31st of this month. Then I go muskrat and otter until the 20th of February. And then beaver all the way to April 1st. I will add moderators every time I go live. Just take her easy. I don't need to be, I don't want the whole chat blue. Nothing against anybody, but I got to know you a little bit. What trap do you use on coyotes? Right here. It's my go-to trap now for coyote, Duke 550. Got a brand new box right here, just opened them. I need more. I gotta get more of them. I wanna be, I wanna just go hard next year. Saw your Horton. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Duke 550s are right around like 14, 15 bucks a piece. I think you can get them for 149 to $160 a dozen. Pretty cheap. Do you mod your 550s? I don't do anything but boil them, get the oil off them, put a cable or uh, anchor on and drop them in the ground. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Cadron Creek Outdoors, It's you can do whatever you want, man. I got Bridgers. I don't have any MB 550s. I just, I think everybody in the world would want to steal them if I had them. So I got Bridgers, the Dukes, lots of Dukes actually. Carter Taxidermy Outdoors just started our channel, Trapping Taxidermy. Love your videos. Guys, all my mods run his link. Carter Taxidermy Outdoors. Just run his link until he until he gets some people. You got any video? Uh, you got to have some content, brother. That'd help you out a lot. I'll check you out after the live. Appreciate the super chat, man. You didn't have to do that. Guys, check him out. If you want to be a mod, you have to put in the time, watch your watch his videos, be loyal. If you ask, you'll never be one, Ponham says. Huh, my girlfriend just asked if you gave me a shout out. Cody Paul, you got a shout out. <laughs> How many traps do you set normally a day? I haven't set any for a little bit. Tomorrow I'm putting out two dozen two dozen traps and I just ordered three more dozen cable restraints. Try to end the season on a high note. Right now, I'm just maintaining trap line. Because by the time I check in the morning and check in the afternoon, I don't feel like putting any traps in because of work. ZHTV says I can trap four species all year. I'll do a whole bunch of nuisance beaver trapping. What's going on, Fiona? What am I? Robert Banks, my brother. What's up? Fondham says, Robert Banks is in the house? Hell yeah. It's been a while, brother. 304 in the, ch in the chat. 309 thumbs up, guys. Let's hit that thumbs up. Hit the like button. Just a little fellow like this. Appreciate it. From what I understand is every time someone hits the thumbs up, it puts you and me in your uh, liked video category, and that helps me out. So I would appreciate it if you guys could hit the thumbs up. Usually don't ask for it, but every little bit helps, guys. Well, I guess I have to drink with you. Cheers. Hang on. Hang on, Jason. Hey, everybody. Anybody drinking if you're old enough? Cheers. 
Thanks for 12K, guys. I appreciate it. Brandon316 says, EHTV, I got you. Yeah, guys, check out each other's channels. If you got video, you got content, mingle. Doug Buthing. God, I know I've just butchered the shit out of that one. Says, awesome videos. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hang on. Chat's jumping. 321 in the house, guys. Appreciate everybody in here. <laughs> Tyler says, man, down. I would, but I'm 14, LOL. Hey, man, drink, drink some Pepsi or something then. Going for 15K by the end of summer, Meek Outdoors says. I sure hope it comes a little bit faster in summertime, brother. I'm saying like 13,000 in a couple days would be kind of nice. I used to drink Southern Comfort by the gallon. I since have moved past that. Take a shot for me. I'm drinking beer and apple pie shots, LOL. Hey, 330 Maniac, I appreciate you coming in here, brother. I really do. And I can't wait to see your merch. Sound like everybody else is waiting for that too. Holy shit! Man down! I may fall to the ground here. Steve Oberbrockling. Oh no. You have the best trapping channel on YouTube. Dude, you just floored me. Live stream might be over with. Dude, you didn't have to do that, brother. Steve, guys, that's awesome, you guys. I can't even believe that. You didn't have to do that. You're going to have to get with me on Instagram or Facebook, Steve. I'm going to have to send you some merch. You can't be dropping big bucks like that and not get something to show for it, brother. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to shout you out in every freaking video. Floored. I'm absolutely floored right now. Drinking Voodoo Ranger. Steve, thanks, man. Grayson Jacobs, dropping in $1.99. What is your favorite Bobcat set? Also, best Yotes set. If you can, on a deer trail, I'm still... Steve, brother, crazy. You're going to have to get a hold of me. Hang on, hang on. Chat just jumped. The My best ones would be a blind set. For either one of those, if you can find a good trail with a step and make a step and put a blind set in, you're going to catch stuff. But other than that, dirt hole, bobcat, bunch of feathers, put a flag up above it. Crazy. Baker1971 says, love your channel. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Jim B. Bourbon, Kyle Clayton says. Hang on. I got to get caught back up, guys. Farm All Fanatics in the house saying, Boom. Guys, check him out. He's another live streamer that uh, grows channels. Yeah, man down. Farm All Fanatic dropping a dollar thirty-seven. Appreciate it, brother. I like them odd numbers like that. Steve, get with me for real. You're gonna get hooked up with some merch. Let's see where are we at. Let's see. Would be interested in having a. Fan, join you on the trap line, Clayton Dalton. Where are you at, Clayton? We might be able to make it happen. Jason Minnick says, at work, can't drink. Do crow feathers work for Bobcat? They will, but I prefer white. I just think it sticks out better. Backwood Bass and TV dropping another $1.99. Appreciate it, brother. You can settle down a little bit. Guys, check out Backwood Bass and... He's, uh, he's wanting to grow, guys. If anybody in here has a channel that they're trying to grow, get them. We will drink for you. I need to get a different system here. I don't know how people... It, the chat disappears on me. So I have to put my finger on here. Let's see. I'll move it on this side. Maybe that'll stay away from the camera. Tyler, that better not be my beam and apple. <laughs> Farmall saying hey to Kyle Moody. How far behind am I? 335 in the chat, guys. Hit that like button. Nail it. Dan says 100%. Dylan Griffith says you are the best. Appreciate it, brother. 
Let's hit that thumbs up. Let's see how high we can get that sucker. We're at 360. Hit the like button. 361. Let's go. Hammer that sucker. I know there's a bunch of people in here that haven't hit it yet. We're setting records on my likes. Trapper J, when I dispatch my animals, I use a club. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It doesn't take nothing. It's just like shooting them. Thump. Down. Guys. Steve, you need to get a hold of me on Insta or Facebook, please. I think I just lost a... My chat just jumped like crazy. You should show more of you shooting the animals. I can't, Easton. Instantly we'll be gone off of YouTube. I can't we can't risk it. You get with me. You and if anybody wants that wants to shoot, see some shooting of the animals, just get with me on Insta or Facebook and I can probably get you a little clip on there. Jaden Hatfield says, shoot, shout me out in Kentucky. Big Boons is in the house. I just, and Farmall says he just got a buck November 6th. I need to speed up, guys. S. Grizzly says, man down. Do you think people would enjoy a knife forging video? Hey, I would probably watch that. Jacob Tuttle 56 dropping $14.99. Jacob, thank you, brother. Thank you, Jacob. Watch a video, comment, like, and do the drill. Be genuine. Says Can't, Sandy K. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Yes. If you want to grow your channel, go leave a comment on their on one of their videos. They otherwise they'll never know you're there. Lucas Benzing says I enjoy the videos. Thank you, man. Len Lyndon Schrock wants a shout out. There you go, Lyndon. You are the best YouTuber ever. Woods and River Pursuit. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Woods and River Pursuit, guys. Fresh Kid says, Trapper J330 collaboration coming soon. I would only hope. If he invites me up that direction, I would definitely do it. But until then, we'll see. Maybe something to, some fishing in the summer or something. I would be happy with that. Never caught a walleye, 330. Jacob Tuttle, 56, dropping another $9.99. Man, just take her easy, man. I'm not asking for... I just love all the love, but it feels kind of goofy still. Appreciate it, Jacob. You're going to have to get with me on Instagram also. Sooner Man, what's up? You, I never did see. Do you noodle? You do noodling, Sooner Man. I want to go to Oklahoma and go noodling with someone. But I don't want to pay for a guide. I need some help. Anybody help me? Noodling, Oklahoma. I love Oklahoma. I want to go noodling in Oklahoma. Not right now, obviously. That sounds cold. Cody Moore, dropping 20 bucks. Says, what's up, brother? How's your night going? GoPro 8 yet? It's coming. I, right now, you know, everybody, I don't know if everybody knows, but right now, YouTube only pays on, on like the 20th of each month, so... We're getting really close. I should have it. My next YouTube check, guys. And the accessories, I'm hoping. Let's see. How can we get some fur for you? How can we get some fur? I'll go out there and get my fur, Caleb. Caleb Morrison, thank you for coming in. What people need to... I need to probably in one of these lives I need to talk about that I what I do after this like shed hunting I don't know if you guys can make it out or not tons of shed hunting and mushroom hunting all kinds of stuff and my chat just jumped again I'm getting tired of it let's see Tyler Wood Bushcraft's in the house just got the notification what's up brother not much just chilling with everybody 313 in here 404 likes guys hit that like button man down you guys like hearing that that's awesome. Hey, let me know what you guys think about me putting that little man down deal on the end. Leave it or get rid of it. I kind of like it. It makes me laugh when I do it. And I got a buddy, Ingle Trapping, that I send him weird little videos like that, and he laughs every time. Man, come up here summertime. I'll put you on some huge walleye. Honestly, 330 Maniac, I've never caught a walleye. True story. I went to Minnesota. We got up there. And the lake just turned, and all I caught was bass. 
I need a place to drive a motorcycle, 330 Maniac. If you really want to do it, I'll come up there. We'll do a collab. I don't even have to record for my channel. I just want to come up and fish, mostly. <laughs> Who else thinks he is the best vlogger? You know, those are the words I've never thought I'd ever hear in my entire life. I appreciate it, though. Slover Brothers. Tyler Woods, let's smash the button and share the stream out. <coughs> All right, where are we at right now? Dakota Larson's, can I get a shout out? Yes, you can. Did I slow way down or is it just me? It seems like I just slowed way down. Am I getting toasty? Jason Minnick, goal! 1999. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Ponum says, Sam, congrats. Killed a big nine point this year, about 140 inch deer. That's awesome. I, uh, I let these vlogs and the, uh, I'm just like diehard trapper. I don't know if anybody can tell that or not, but I let that get in my way of deer hunting. Usually I try to shoot my deer like right before trapping starts, but I didn't get a chance this time. So I just went straight on out of here. Charlie M says, dude, calm down. You're too wound up. Slow down. Life is short. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with the chat, man. Thanks, Charlie M. Sam says, leave it. Love it. I am way behind, I see. TR Nearing X dropping $4.99. Says, keep it up. Another live streamer, guys. Does a lot of live streams. Check him out if you want to grow your channel. Everybody says, leave it. I'm way behind. We kill shit here. Yes, we do right there and over here and there's some down here keep it man down man down i am 330 maniac we're gonna have to set up a time i really do i will come up i'm still i i mentioned it to flair too i'd like to see him do a collab get some awesome uh flair thanks you're the goat William Murphy dropping a dollar ninety nine says love your channel. Shout out Lindsay Sipe. Hello, Lindsay Sipe. How are you? Thanks, brother. Best channel on YouTube, Tom Minch says. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it, man. Alright. I gotta take a small breather, guys. If I missed your name, I apologize. All right, here we go. You have to turn on slow mode. I don't know how. Where is it at? What's the button? Is it right here? Let me see. Uh, share, save highlight, or mute microphone. I don't want to do none of those. I don't know where it is. I'm just going to have to wing it. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video on how to run a live stream. Have you ever sold to Pesca Fur? Gavin, I have not sold to Pesca Fur, but I heard that they're paying really good for Bobcats. I've seen a post today. I have not. Big Boons, appreciate you coming in here, brother. Pondoms Outdoors, Tyler Wood, Arthur Alvadian. Thanks for coming in. All my blue people, man, you guys are helping me out. Are we talking about how much per pelt for, what are you talking about, Bobcats? Up, up to 150 a piece for those here. Down, I'm down in the southern. I'm right on the edge where it turns into shit fur. How much money did you get for the badger? He's in the freezer. He's going to be tanned. There is a lot of people in the giveaway. It was like four pages. Pat says, please tell for Flair to lung shoot his trap animal. Shots are so much blood for the fur. I actually told him where to shoot him. Because uh, on a badger, it's kind of hard to tell where the lungs are at, and in the same way with an otter. Well, hell, I'll come run with you and your line. Work me like a dog. I live right down the road from Flair. Where are you at, Matt Moorhead? Because I'm right down the road from Flair. You can actually see my house from his duck blind if you guys look close enough. Let's see. I just set my traps out today. Looking to cash out on some Arkansas bobcats and coyotes. Man, get me on Instagram or Facebook. I'd like to see the pictures. 
I thought I heard you trapped in Missouri. That's where I'm at, and you would love to run a line with you. Where are you at, Clayton? I don't tan anything. I just send it out, white boom, bone. Hate to go. So soon, Trapper J. The old lady's bitching. She's ready for bed. Thanks for the instructions. Love you, brother. Appreciate it, Backwoods Basson. Thanks for being in here. Sandy K says, if you haven't, please hit the thumbs up. We got 200 and, well, 431. I got a glare right there. I don't like that. There we go. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. Just got done, Duke. How many did you get? How many 550s did you get, James Carpenter? Man down, Bill Cunningham says. You can come to Louisiana and come noodle with me. Don't tempt me. I will be heading to Florida in June. I would swing through Louisiana. Drink, 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 Seymour says. I'd like to send some items from Mardi Gras to the family. Just email me with the address. I sent you my email. Charlie M, I'll, I'll, look, I'll get you some address set up. Charlie M, I actually have a P.O. box on the uh, my About page if you want to look at that. Appreciate it, Charlie. I must be way behind on the chat, guys. Lex is still in here. B&O says, I made it back in time to go to work. You're going to work right now, B&O? Or are you coming here to be my mod? Okay, I'm coming up on the chat. If I didn't read out what you said, just retype it, please. Bear with me. 319 in the chat, 442 likes. Hit that like button if you can. I'd like to see 500 likes tonight, guys. Steve. Appreciate it, brother. I know if you're still in here, Steve, I just, I so appreciate it. Easton, I am not selling the badger. I'm going to have him tanned. I want to do a whole wall of tan for wherever my backdrop will be for the live streams. Remember, the live streams are going to be every Saturday. Guys, check out BNO Outdoors. Been with me since the beginning. You can come to Louisiana and come noodling with me, Lane says. Lane, can you get with me on Instagram or Facebook, please? Because uh, I would really like to stop by on my way to Florida. Two weekends ago, we were both man down due to you guys. Hello, Tyler says, Tyler's my cameraman, my nephew, and we got a little toasty in here. Hi, everyone. I'm a Trapper Channel 2, BNO says. Yeah, he does all kinds of mink snaring videos, stuff like that. Coyote snaring. Check out BNO. Suderman saying BNO. What'd he say? I missed him. Snowboarding Yeet says, Hi, why hasn't Flair gave you a shout out? You've helped him a lot. It's coming, brother. Just keep an eye on his channel. What do you think the mink will bring? I usually only get like eight bucks, Scott Swift. Yeah, I just now noticed you, brother. Hang on one second. Scott Swift has watched for a hundred percent, watched every one of my videos, comments, just paragraphs on every freaking every one. Every day I can look forward to seeing Scott on here. Appreciate it, Scott Swift. I really do, man. Linkless Tennessee. Hang on. Linkless Tennessee messages me all the time telling me to get off my ass, wake up, lazy, whatever, go skiing. Here we are. Linkless Tennessee rides my ass on Messenger all the time. Check him out, guys. Let's see, uh, Tyler's laughing about something. Shout out from Arkansas. Cadron Creek Ar Outdoors is in Arkansas. Let's see. Keep up the great work. Love you, man. Good trapping vids. Caden Johnson. Appreciate it. Johnston. I'm from St. Louis, Clayton says. You should have the badger mounted with his foot in the trap. That'd be awesome, Dan. It's possible. He's still in the freezer hole. 
You should do a vintage trapping challenge. I don't think I got any older traps out here. It'd be tough. Them old long springs are just weak. JRP27 dropping two ninety nine. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support, man. You don't know how much it means to me. Ober. Steve Ober Brockling. Still butchering it. Are you still in here, brother? Trevor L. Thanks for coming in, man. Even though you didn't comment. Everyday dude should have been in here commenting. You can come to Louisiana and come noodling with me. I will, Lane. Am I with that far behind? Let's see, I'm not caught up now. What I miss. Every time I let go of the screen, my chat jumps, guys. I'm going to have to figure out where. Life with Melissa's coming in. Guys, check out Life with Melissa. Oh, <laughs> He says, my boss just texted me, says he commented five times. I apologize. One of these days you'll see how hard this is. NNS Outdoors, what the frig is a polecat? What is a polecat? I'm not sure what a polecat is. Did I say polecat? Lane, I will come noodling, brother. I definitely will. You're going to have to message me, though. Arthur Alvadine, appreciate it, man. Guys, check him out. Check out his channel. This is tough. 468 likes, guys. Let's hit that 500. Took me a while to go through my tabs to see, folks. Remember, guys, I uh, will be live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm from New York. If you don't mind the cold, fur is good here. And the snow is probably deep, right, in New York, Tom? How much do you make off of YouTube? I was, it's really not what everybody thinks it is. And I can tell you that. Dwayne Lazar's in the house. I was uh, somewhere around $30 a month there for a while. But since it's changed a lot here in the last month since my subscribers have went through the roof, my ads have gone way up. So I will let you guys know in a few months what it ends up being. When is the giveaway? The giveaway is tomorrow, 7 Central p.m. Thanks for the insight. Yeah, everybody thinks that once you start running ads, you're rich, but it's not the way it works. I'm at a lot of my trapping videos because I'm a trapper and you know how YouTube is with outdoors. It's maybe, if I'm lucky, four to five dollars every thousand views. So I don't know if someone can do the math. If you ain't getting views, you ain't getting them very much. So, but anyways, I appreciate everybody being here. Live to the end, Pol a polecat is a skunk. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Kane Sample, what's up? Appreciate you coming in. Braden Ather, thank you for coming in. Yeah, life with Melissa's a Florida girl. She's probably got pictures on Instagram right now laying on the beach. I see him. Always warm. Tyler saying noodling and sticking cat, uh, sticking your hand in a or foot in a hole for catfish. I want to go noodling. Dwayne Lazar, what's up, brother? Show more and explain more resets and th things that you do. I have no lo local trapper to show me. Okay, Saturday's video, depending on what I catch will be a setting day. So I will put all my sets in the, into a video just for you, man. Do dog proofs hurt? Oh, where are we going? Do I got one in here? Okay. We'll do a pee break and then I'll try to find one real quick. Just mingle. Keep each other company. Let me find a dog proof. I can get out of here. Man, that him. I'm trapped.
Everybody leave. 303 in the house. 485 thumbs up. We're so close to the 500 thumbs up. Dog proof. I get a lot of people saying, how do you set them like that? I just got strong hands, man. Dog proof, do they hurt? Now these are just push pull, pull only. Bam, that's all it is, right on the knuckle even. Pretty simple, they don't hurt, it's not painful. It seems like it would be, but it's not. Because there's only that much room that the thing moves, right? Well, I bet it on the wrong way, but whatever. LOL Flair is trying to hand set them. It's funny. Broken Lair says he sets them like that because he is as big as a house. Broken Lair, thanks for coming in, brother. Hang on one second. Broken Lair is a moderator now, even though you knocked my mobile box down three times but if you can't if you can't set them like that hang on just use anything just get down underneath it here like this push them down just find you something for leverage if, if you if you can't do that put your wheelie in there now it's a video i don't think it'll fit in there do you you guys think it'll fit in there that's kind of weird stuck my hand in a 550 today not too bad no nah, i had mine in the hand my hand in uh trap for about 45 minutes on that one line what would be the best time of year to trap beavers i think if you could i would trap right before right before the corn comes out would be the best time to get them but your fur ain't gonna be prime but if you're looking the nuisance trap that would be the best uh time so what size trap starts scaring you i don't like playing with the uh i won't put my hand in any of the uh Body grip traps. Nope. I have no desire. Share this out. Tell a friend about Trapper J. Thanks, Tyler Woods, Bushcraft. Guys, check him out. He does some pretty awesome camping videos and stuff. Survival. Survival stuff. Not mine. I took mine off. Didn't know we were keeping our hands in them. Oh, well. He couldn't get yours off fast enough. Doug, yeah, I got one planned. Why do I trap? My whole life growing up, uh, pretty much I had chickens and farm animals and predators were hard. Just constantly your stuff getting killed. And that's where I started. Now it's to see the turkey flocks and stuff like that grow. Rabbits. Like there's places where there's no rabbits and squirrels because there's so many bobcats and stuff. Mo Travers says, I think spring is the best for beaver. They hit caster well. The only problem I hate about that is the uh, coon and stuff are out of season. But I agree with you. But I like I would like to get in there while they're pulling all the corn out of the cornfields. That's when I would like to get into some of them places. How do you get dog proofs cheap? Amazon, there's Fleming Traps, I believe is what it is. Ten bucks a piece. What's the craziest animal you've ever trapped? Um, I catch snapping turtles a lot, and that's kind of crazy. In one tens, in a swamp that's frozen over. Are you gonna pop cold one? I got one, Braden. We're working on it. We're about we're a little over half now. Drake Fast says you and Flair are the best YouTubers in my book. Appreciate it, man. I want a Duke 550, Tyler says. I th I want to get I want to do a video, Tyler. I'm gonna trap some squirrels this weekend. And that's what I would like to see you do. Just for like a uh, like a go camping and then set you some squirrel traps and then do a catch and cook, you know, in the wood in the woods. Doug says I love your uh, trap line videos. Appreciate it. Let me see how far away I am from the... Okay, I can get caught back up. Fleming Traps are always run a good Black Friday sale and subscribe to their emails. Always running deals. Guys, check out Fleming Traps, Brogan says. 
Do you process your own gland lure from catches? I don't. I need to. Because when I do that, when I do that bobcat bait, I need to get all that stuff out. What is the smallest trap you've caught beaver? I have a video where I caught a 62 pound beaver in a Duke 1.5. OH Outdoors, what's up? Says Trapper J. Need to trap possums around my chickens. What can I use for bait? Marshmallows, cat food. Um, I don't have it in here right now, but I have cans of sardines that you can get at like the dollar store for a dollar. Stuff, anything like that. South Missouri Outdoors, the giveaway is tomorrow. I just wanted to go live and kind of celebrate, have a few drinks with people for the uh, hitting 12,000. Princess Cammy says hello, happy Friday. Thanks for coming in, Princess Cammy. It's his antler ceiling light fixture. Can you see it? Hang on, let me give me a show of my antlers. I need to add on to it. I got the light bulbs turned off because it puts too much of a glare right now. Bobcats are called lynx here. Johnny K.I. I don't know what you're going, what you're saying there. If anyone can see this, say so, please. Slover Brothers, I see it. Sorry, man. Not a 110, 160 LOL. I've caught in one. Kind of stings a little. 110 slapped me a lot. I eat the muskrat, you have the squirrels. Yes, Gavin Slamba says, is the one and three quarter Duke good for coyotes? Hang on one second. I'm right here. These I've had for probably six or seven years now. But these Duke and one and three quarters already came base plated. You can see, well, maybe. You can see it there. I use this as just stock. I didn't do anything to these but dye them and put them in the ground. Really stiff spring still. I waxed them this year. We are at 507 likes, guys. I appreciate it so much. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. How much for pelts now? Whole coyotes in my area are bringing up to $50 without even skinning them or anything. So coyotes are where you need to be. 220 stings a bit, I bet so. God. 292 in the house, guys. 516 likes, I appreciate it. Any pointers for first time coyotes? Um, just be patient, it's, it's tough. Just be patient, hit the field edges. Try to find their trails in the dirt. Like if someone, if they plow to a field, they'll walk so far out away from the edge and they'll just walk that same path every night or whenever they come through. HVC123, how often do you rebate canine sets? I, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of, uh, I would at least do it once a week if you're getting a lot of rain. Usually I don't hardly rebate air lure anything unless I get a catch. If I get a possum or anything, I'll, that's when I'll rebate. But usually I'm lazy and I, it's the trap set I don't get off and mess with nothing. I don't get off the foiler. I try to keep my presence down as much as possible. T-Bone 57, I don't have weasel here. Big Boone says, thumbs up, man down, that like button. Slower Brothers is, what's going on? He deleted your message. I don't know what, if you're begging for something or what, but Slower Brothers, if you want a shout out, here's your shout out. Guys, check out Slower Brothers. But don't spam me, brother, because uh, you'll be long gone. That's one thing I don't like is people, when they spam, they just say the same thing over and over again. I'm trying real hard to keep up. Can I use rebar to stake down my coyote traps? If you do, I would double stake them like an X. Well, that was a horrible X, but there you go. Get you the adapters and cross stake them. I, the, my very first bobcat, I used, I used to put two traps per set. He had one all the way out, and the other one was almost out when I got to him. So I about lost two traps. 
I don't know, making stone, what an inch is. What I, did, I can just tell that they got good guard here. This is a pretty decent guard hairs on this one. But I got some that have, you know, they're probably out to there. So, I don't know, maybe five or six inches. I don't have a scent control system. I found that I think my success is coming from wearing my hip waders. Because I'm doing mixed bag and I have my waders on all the time. I think that's helping and that's what a lot of, some other people are thinking also. Sometimes I don't wear gloves. I think as long as I don't come straight out of my job and kneel down, then I'm good. You know, get all greasy and shit and then go and try to make sets. But I think the, uh, I think the hip waders are helping. Doug wants a beginner's video. Thanks for showing us how to do it, things right. I'm thinking about a beginner's video. I don't have any weasel tip, trapping tips. Check out Dwayne Lazar, Cole. Dwayne Lazar. Triple Nickel Trapper. Flynn Ellie Outdoors says, what is some good bait to use for trapping coyotes? I use uh, Jeff Dunlap's baits. Top Dog from Hoosier Outdoors did me pretty good. And then if you keep watching, we'll see how this does. Jeff, Jeff Dunlap recommended it. So far, Caden, I'm at four. Should be up higher. B&O says, yes, waders help so much, bro. I think it keeps the uh, scent down. Levi, I never find any coyotes' dens. They pretty much just sleep on the field edges and stuff, down in ditches. Bobcat pelts are going for up to $150 here, Russell. All depends. It all depends on where you're at. I don't have those awesome northern bobcats. Yeah, Northern Lights, he does. So I got one right here. I know I show it in probably every video or every live stream, but Dwayne sent me this guy. He's completely awesome. Savage31408 wants a shout out. There you go, Savage. There's your shout out. F and T is where I get my stuff. Thomas Milner. Taylor Poliot. Did I say that right? In Nebraska. I sell my fur in Nebraska. Palmyra, Nebraska. Sandy K, keep sharing, keep caring. Thank you, Sandy K, for being in here. Make a box that that 110 will fit in long enough for a rat trap, bait with uh, mice or muskrat meat. Set rock piles, brush piles for them. Weasel can be fun. There you go. That sounds awesome, but I don't have a season here. But that, that'll help out who's asking for the weasel tips. How many coats you got this year so far? And how much are they going for there? I'm at 24. Tubby Outdoors says the trap pack. I'm Trapper J, 330 Maniac, and B&O. That's awesome. All right, I gotta get caught up again. Where's a good place to set traps at? Raccoons, I don't set any raccoon traps unless I see coon trails. I won't set raccoon traps anywhere unless there's a trail. I don't just randomly place them. They gotta be a trail going out of a culvert, under a fence, along a pond's edge or along a creek edge or something before all set. In South Dakota, we've been getting 180 and 60 for coyote. Is that Skander Hole? Because we're at 50 hole right now is our top. But I'm way south of you, man. Best bait for bobcat. Can't beat just a chunk of rabbit. I'm gonna try this from Just Dunlap. He says it's his best coyote bobcat. So we'll see. I don't hunt any fur bears, but I'm going to get a call. I've been getting a lot of people telling me that they're calling in raccoons and stuff, so I need to get a call. 
Mason Bennett wants a shout out. Thanks for coming in, Mason. And I have not trapped in New York. Buy a Fox Pro. I want to get a Fox Pro, definitely. Definitely need to get a Fox Pro. Facebook is Trapper J Outdoors. I'm not Trap Lord Jake. But I will be in in Flair's videos. Any day now. Triple Nickel is a weasel catcher. Let's see. What is the best bait or scent for Bobcat if I don't know? Know if they are in the area. No tracks at least. If you can get snow, you're going to find Bobcat tracks. Just however you would trap coyotes will work. Just make it flashy. Put feathers all over it. Bossy's in the house still saying share this out. Appreciate it, Bossy. Guys, check out Bossy's channel. Everybody is awesome, Sandy K is saying. Did NAFA get shut down? NAFA is gone. We have been getting that much for whole coyotes. Yeah, I wish I had those northern coyotes. I'll take 50, though, for a whole coyote. Nate408 says the Fox Pro is great trapping. Is much more effective. It'd be like it'd be nice to just go do some calling after trapping's over. Because I'm gonna have to keep you guys entertained after trapping season's over. I've caught four bobcats, Braden. Aaron Matthews says you should talk to Kendall Gray. I don't think he'd want to talk to a small channel like me, buddy. Have you ever talked to Kendall Gray about trapping? I have not. But one of the funniest videos I've ever watched was when he, it's probably been two years now, and he he, he was in the in the shed skinning the, it was like a barn or something, trying to skin a uh, possum, and he threw it. Oh my God, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Where do you buy traps at? F and T, or from Mr. Duke himself. Do you know who Kendall Gray is? I've never personally met him, but I watch his channel sometimes. I want to go minner trapping. I like when he says minners. I caught third fox yesterday, first year trapper. You must have a pretty good supply of fox where you're at. Easy explore, huh? That's, that's pretty awesome. Pheasants and quail. Void TMZ. Do a lot of quail hunting. I also, and I have quail. If some of you guys already know. Last year, our yotes went for like $20. I just remember when nobody would even buy them, but that's been, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Super Fleshy is good for bobcat and will keep coyotes out of the set, but you will still catch raccoons and possums. I missed the bobcat today, guys. I had his footprint was just outside of my trap. He stepped over the trap to the hole. Just missed him. Will Mugford says, does your wife get mad because you're out trapping all the time? I've been doing this for years, and we've been married 21 years, so she's pretty much getting used to it now. It's the uh, the whole editing and making video deals is she's starting to get used to now. She's realizing it's starting to pay off for me, so. You're always on YouTube. I got so many channels I try to support, you know, try to watch their videos when they come out, so it can be tough. I'm going to take her out for dinner. <laughs> How much money do you make a season just wondering if it is worth me getting into? Hey, you got to enjoy it. It's not all about the money. Got to enjoy it. And it's awesome to see those turkey numbers. Last year, I made $1,000 just off the bobcats. So do the math. And I got like 100 and I don't even know how many raccoons I got. And I get up to $12 a piece for them. It adds up. It's a numbers game. You got to catch a lot of them. But uh, the farms are really improved over the last few years. Where the homeowners, or the, yeah, the landowners mentioned it to me. How much of an improvement they've seen. Come up to PA for some turkey. Shauna's still running Bill Duke's website, guys. If anybody wants to go look at the uh, 550s, click on that link. See more. It says drink. Flynn, Ellie Outdoors, Eli Outdoors says, can I have a shout out? 
Flint Eli Outdoors. Jake, put your hand in a 110. I don't know who Jake is. And I won't do it, no matter what. Because that's horrible. Yeah. Brandon says he was flushing it on PVC and got mad. I remember that. Just flung that sucker. What is a blue coon? Blue coon is when it's not prime. And the fur usually primes based on the daylight hours. So it's not all about the cold. So my season starts November 15th. And Iowa starts, you know, a little bit earlier, you know, 15 days earlier. So a lot of them are, are catching blue coons. They're not worth near as much. It's where the uh, leather is still not prime. I let a lot of possums go, T-Bone. But there is, a, there is a buyer that buys the bigger ones whole. I don't skin them. They're the nastiest things I've ever met. I hate them. They're so gross. 21 years, congrats. Thanks, Victor. Am I that far behind? How long are you going to be live? Brandon, I, Braden, I don't ever know how long I'm going to be live. I just go with the flow. Jethro, I might, I might try something like that. It said, would you consider adding viewer clips to your videos? I could probably, I might delve into that but i gotta check with youtube and see how that works out i don't want to get like a copyright type of deal i don't know i never even thought about that are chaps cheaper in the summer no the, pretty much they stay the same go to your local conventions and you'll get them a lot cheaper though they have sales but you know you ain't, ain't gonna be a whole lot Victor Alfazio got his first 550 in the ground. Was it a Duke or an MB, Victor? How long is tramping season usually? We're looking at like two full months for land critters, and then it goes on to muskrat and stuff. Meek Outdoors says gas money is a bonus. Yes. That's where I like doing my... Bounty beavers, and I get asked that a lot. Bounty beavers. I get $40 a beaver if I trap them in a certain drainage district. So that's where I focus most of my beaver activity. Scott Swift says it sucks in a 110 or bigger. I don't even, uh, I don't even want to try it. I get snapped enough as it is. Deer Hunters 2 Gone Hunting says, can I get a shout out? There's your shout out. Where are you at? Deer Hunters 2, Gone Hunting. Came here, come here in Kentucky, there's lots of rat cans. I throw opossums in the river, Void says. My thing is, I tell everybody, you go out and set a trap anywhere and see if it makes it 30 days without catching a dang coon or a possum. So then you try to get your... Uh, you picture a, a turkey trying to hatch out her eggs for 30 days. It just, it's impossible. I could put a trap out right now and have something within 30 days without even trying. I do both, Taylor. I sell some whole. It all depends. I skin all my rat canes. Some of them are whole. T J T J C T Outdoors, what's up? Best bait for groundhogs. B&O, you still in here? B&O can tell you how to catch groundhogs. I usually just shoot them with my gun out the window. Facebook is Traversy Outdoors, Lane. Yes, I've JR Revolt. I've seen the uh, black bobcat. That's pretty sweet. NC Outdoors, I just use the same bait that I use for coyotes. Cat food marshmallow, Sam Phillips says. That will work. I put a little bit of syrup in there. That way it's kind of sticky. I like a sticky bait. <laughs> Northern Lights says, roll on the floor laughing. My dog is snoring but growling. Release the lens. What's up? Thanks for coming in. Must be chasing a dog. Canned mackerel is the best bait for rat
That works really good, and it's cheap, Nate. Has George regrown his hair? George was released off into the wild. He is regrowing his hair as we speak. I'm surprised how many PA boys are in the house. I think, appreciate you guys all being here. What kind of traps should I start with? It all depends on what you're targeting. I'd get you some one and a halfs, don't matter what brand, and uh, some dog proofs. Get your feet wet with some raccoons, maybe some mink and muskrat, and then just work on your way up. See, what I like about muskrats is you catch something every day, and raccoons too. You catch an every day, and you don't have to be all depressed, because uh, it can be a while before you catch something with a some kind of coyotes or, or bobcats. Are you going to meet Kendall Gray? I don't know. I don't know if he even knows who I am. I'm just a small channel. He probably has no clue who I am. How many acres do you have? I only got two acres here. But I make the most of it. My cousin had a live trap. Caught a skunk and some guy tried stealing it. And my cousin watched. Damn skunk sprayed the guy. He was ripping all of his clothes off and running. <laughs> no coyotes get let go. I caught a rare trailer park crack after I watched your video. That's awesome. Do you let the small, do you let go small coyotes? I don't let any coyotes go. A good coyote's a dead one. I'll release small bobcats though. I've never caught an albino. All these rat canes that I catch and stuff, never get a cinnamon. Everybody's saying meet Kendall Gray. Well, everybody that wants me to meet Kendall Gray, go over and comment that I need that he needs to meet Trevor J. That's the only way he'll ever know who I am. Corbin Bailey dropping 99 cents. Guys, appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me. Corbin Bailey, appreciate it. What part of Missouri are you in? Northwest Missouri. What are some of the most unique animals you've caught in traps? Or in animals you didn't think you could catch? I honestly never thought I would catch a bobcat. Then I caught one. Then I started to get really good at catching them. And I really never thought I would catch an otter. But now I catch them every year. So the most unique are the... I don't even know who Ken O'Grey is. says Camaro. Um, most unique is a snapping turtle. Catching them in the swamp when it's frozen and zero degrees out. And you catch them under the ice. And a 110. OH Outdoors dropping $1.99. So I love the channel, man. Appreciate it, brother. Guys, check out OH Outdoors. Shauna, thanks for being in here so long. Where's R5 at? I just seen R5. There she is. Guys, check out R5 Adventure. She goes live. She'll grow your channel too. If anybody in here that wants to grow their channels, check out some of these live streamers. Go do a meet and greet. You ain't missing much, Kyle says. I'm doing good, R5 Adventure. Just trying to grow my channel. Got meeting all kinds of new people. That crackhead bit me. Now I have, oh no, gunner hephalitis. Man down. It's kind of legal to kill you around where you are. Yes, but not trapping, just shooting. Never bluffs, what's up? Thanks for coming in. Slover bros says me. What's up? OH Outdoors, go live after Trevor J. If I'm awake, I'll watch you. Senior man said, Buckeye Bass and TV, what's up, man? You drinking a beer? Doug Muser, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Michigan Crossbow Hunters, what's up? Says, what's the best advice you give a new trapper? Gonna have to be patient work at it but just uh you're gonna have to be patient like there's times where i just want to throw in the towel but i know that the next trap check could be awesome and i could you know and then when you set up a property and you've got all these really high hopes and you can't sleep and you go with a check of the next day and there's nothing just give it a few days just just stick with it i catch white tip muskrats and i got a badger this year and a white tip muskrat too. 
I bet I have probably 30 coyote sets out, Ben Briggs, and that counts my bobcat sets too. Harry Pageant wants a uh, shout out. Thanks for being in here, Harry. Pondums is still in here. Appreciate it, brother. Judith says I caught a coot. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of little incidentals. You can sometimes catch a duck and, you know, you got something to eat. Yes. EGM 1990. The coyotes are legal to kill you around. I went ice fishing one time and I snagged a muskrat. And I was probably 11 years old. I did not enjoy freezing on the ice and I've never caught anything, so. Never been since. And until I can go somewhere and catch walleye or something, I'll just go ahead and wait until the water's warm and it's nice out and catch bluegills. Braden, thanks for coming in, buddy. I have not used the glow-in-the-dark lure from Dunlaps. I usually don't buy anything for rat cans. It's just, I can make my own, you know. But I wanted to show you guys. Anyone new in here running dog proofs? Just a regular old, this is called an easy trap. The, uh, it's a pole only, but you set it, you know. You can get a setter for them. But I had this extension and, uh, about knock my light over, put this loop on here like this. And you, know, you guys can see this in my video, but I've been getting asked over and over about, um, stakes. This is way cheaper than than making a bunch of steaks, but you just put this over here. This will give me a chance to take a small break from reading the chat too. Holy crap, you guys are commenting. But it turns into a loop. Cinches down. Put that around a tree or something like that. Gone. I used heavy chains. That'll work. Pretty much whatever you can use to keep them there. No coyotes get to go. Do you have a bobcat mount? I don't. I've never had anything mounted because of the price. I've caught a vulture before, Gage says. I want it. I really want to start trapping. I know, I'd love it. You know, actually, I think whoever wins the giveaway tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and put these on the, the dog proofs. And you'll be set up to go. You won't have to worry about having any anchors. I don't let any coyotes go at all. Would you ever consider teaching people in person like a call? Kind of that last week or so for money or, or a course. I'm going to actually probably start doing to talk to people about doing demos at trapping conventions. If there's some I can go to. I think there's probably four or five of them within driving range of here. I was supposed to go do a demo for kids in Minnesota, but I got called like two days in advance. That didn't work. I wasn't very happy because I was really planning on going to Minnesota and doing that demo. Dan Hunzinger, what's up? It says 20K coming soon. It's still red, Northern Lights says. I do deer hunt. I didn't do very much this year though. Did it hurt my knuckle? Where do you keep all your fur? I got four freezers, big ones. They all go in a freezer and these guys are thawing out now. I'll give you a quick little glance here. My, It's a mess. Table, coons, coons under the table, coons over there, coons up there. And uh, there's somewhere between 75 and 100 coons and you're thawing out. Stop advertising your live. Who's advertising? Can I come trapping with you? I keep all my trapping spots a secret. I threatened to kill Flair if he told. I'm just kidding. <laughs> my everyday job, I work for the city. DNR gives us a $50 bounty on coyotes where I'm at. Oh man, that'd be awesome. One's coming, John. We did a I did a collab with Flair. It's on his channel. It'll be coming. He films way in advance. Lane says, I messaged you on Instagram about noodling. All right, man. I'll check it out when I'm done here. 
Amen the cheaper, being as it says. Let's see. Everyone stop advertising. You are live. People trying to steal people. I've been deleting it, Trapper J. Everybody says. I have trapped at Flares Outdoor Man. Shout out to my wife, Rachel. Hey, Rachel. How are you doing, Rachel? I don't know how you put up with that Seymour guy right there. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks for being here. Flair needs more help, Bob Ross. Rob Ross says. Not very much, Ben Briggs. Thanks, Pondum, for dropping my link, brother. Yeah, guys, check out BNO if you want to see some more trapping. Jacob says I message you on Insta, brother. Yep, I'll check it out. I try to reply to everybody. Shout out. Deer Hunter 2 gone hunting. I will be sending all my muskrats to Fur Harvester. Never bluffs. 264 in the house. We're slowly losing people. I appreciate everybody that's stuck in here. Been on for a while. We're looking at two hours here. Giveaway video. Tyler's putting a giveaway video for everybody that hasn't been entered. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. is a cutoff. I'm going to just, that's going to be the last time I let people get in on it. He's getting better, Outdoor Man. Based on the text that he's been sending me, it looks a lot better. Someone donate more than 100, Outdoor Doug said. See ya, Trapper. Going to bed. Can't wait for the stream tomorrow. Drink fast. Appreciate it, brother. My Insta's Trapper J Outdoors. Philip Merrill wants a shout out. Thanks for coming in, Philip. Remember, you guys, check out if you're growing your channels. Check out my my moderators in blue. Our rats worth it. Up to five bucks right now. I got some top lot awards. I don't have any of them in here. They're all in the house, but. I just like getting that little award for having top lot. Bobcats and muskrats, Harry. Those my favorite things. Really starting to like mink trapping, though. Putting a little bit more effort into it this year. Gaston, I went down to Florida, and I was catching little sharks off of the off the beach. Destin, Florida, this last June. It was awesome. 330 Maniac says, I'm still here lurking. You guys, if you don't have 330 Maniac, you should have already had him. Leg old Chuck, what's up? 330 Maniac, I just go live until I get, I'm either out of booze or I'm too drunk and I don't want to embarrass myself too much. So you'll see when you go live that sometimes it's hard to tell when to get off. There's a lot of people in here still and I'm answering, it's slowing down to where I can actually answer some questions. Can you show us a mink? I've never seen one. I don't have one in here. But it looks similar to this guy. But brown. He looks pretty close, but brown. They're in the freezer. Was in Destin yesterday. Oh, that's an awesome place. I went and rented a pontoon boat and just cruised around fishing. 330 Maniac is awesome. No fish are here, Aaron. I wish. That trap pack looks nice. Someone's going to be happy. It should be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome win. I'd love to win some traps. Right around 190s, Brandon, is the biggest buck. Anybody wants to see the crackhead trap? Here she is. She's always set and ready to go. Look at the size of that. I don't know if that does justice in the thing, but. Yeah, B&O, 330's in here. You didn't see him? B&O in 330. I don't know if you guys have uh, met each other or not, but there you guys are. What is the best bait you use for coyotes? Top Dog from Hoosier Trapper has been catching me a lot of fur this year. But I am switching to this. This is all you're going to see from the rest of the year. 
that was a good vid you did. Yeah, it was really spur of the moment. I got home from work and I told my daughter, get the camera, we're gonna go make a video. And there we went. Team Ambush, what's up? My wife is ready for bed. You're alive, bro. I'm here. Can you shout out all our wives? Oh, well, <laughs> that's awesome. What's your wife's name, Sean? I'll shout her out. I'll tell her to just be gentle. You should do a giveaway that is a day or two from to come trapping with you before the season is out. That would be awesome giveaway. How would I know where you're from? What if you was like in England and I got to pay for you to get here? <laughs> That'd be expensive. Just tuned in. Appreciate you being here, Timmy Ambush. Have you shown your weasel setups yet on YouTube? I don't have weasel here. I got this sent to me from Triple Nickel Trapper. He sent me this in the mail. It's pretty awesome. I watch all of his vids and can't wait until he catches one. Brian Morrow, thanks, man. Sam Phillips says, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Be gentle. He just wants to hang out in the live. Okay, who's drinking with me right now? 264 in here. 564 likes, guys. I appreciate that. How many swivels do you use on coyote traps? I usually don't add anything. When I, like these Duke 550s, Straight out of the box, get the oil off and go. I don't add any swivels, but I, if I would, I would add a middle one. Drinking with me. Are baits with fruit effective? For raccoons, it'd be good. Nate's drinking. Chris is drinking. Ben Briggs, I get him from F&T or from Bill Duke himself. Do you only trap your state? As of right now, until I can, uh, I don't work anymore. Yes, I only trap here, but I want to trap Iowa. Sam Phillips' Trap J live streams are always awesome. Appreciate it, man. Liquor gone yet? Nope. I just wanted to see who's all drinking with me here. I am a bottle of Jack Daniels. That's what I might pick up tomorrow for tomorrow's uh, live stream, since I only drink when I'm live or special occasions. Chris says he's drinking. You should check your trap line live. You see, I do a lot of four-wheeler riding, so I don't know how good that would be. Maybe I can go live sitting in the woods uh, with a squirrel gun. The old 410 or 12 gauge or whatever will blow the hell out of a squirrel. I don't want to miss them. But how about that, guys? If I was live in the woods squirrel hunting, I think that'd be kind of cool. Then I can man down, probably fall asleep and start snoring. I should be drinking. It's my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Team Ambush. I appreciate you coming in here hanging out on my birthday. JR's got his captain on. Tell your boss you quit. <laughs> as soon as the uh, the old YouTube will cover my bills, I'm I'm doing that. I've already mentioned maybe part-time. No more uh, working during trapping season, right? If I could just trap all day, every day, man, the videos that I would pop out. How do you feel about drags on the end of the traps. If I wasn't checking all my traps in the dark most of the time, I would like to use drags, but I don't have time to go searching for them if they were to get away, you know, a ways. Can I stand guard over the crack set? It's, uh, it's right here, Charlie. I need to get on the wall somewhere in here. But she's not set. Well, it's set, but it's to where I can't get my damn leg in it on accident. Man down! You guys have seen me trying to crawl out of here. Okay. Hey, Team Ambush, um, that's what I'm about to be. February 3rd, I'm about to hit 40. Maybe I'll, I wanna get uh, some more tattoos on my birthday, so I'm gonna do a live stream if I can talk my tattoo guy into letting me doing it. Okay, here we are, guys. Let's do it. Cheers for being in here. At 20k, you should put your leg in it. I hit 20k, now I'm crippled. <laughs> Man, damn. Shauna says February 26th should be 41. Is that a real number? No, I believe you, sister. Set off the big trap. No. 
It's, it's loud and it's really hard to get set again. It takes a lot. I have to use C-clamps to set it. I'm out of here. See you tomorrow. Jared Revolt, thanks for coming in. Okay, guys. Jace Men Skinner says, my birthday is February 2nd. Can I get a shout out? I may make a trap in channel. Outdoors Men. That's a pretty cool name, Outdoors Men. Thanks for coming in here. Why do my comments keep disappearing? What have you been saying, HVAC123? 330 Maniac, I just turned 41. I've been like dreading the whole big 4-0, but whatever. As long as I can still do what I do. There's some, the main, uh, Brett Deemer. The main part is, uh, several deer that I've shot. You can see the, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Right here. You can see my tag on it. Woo. Right there. I still got my tags on them. Those are uh, the main ones that I've shot. And then I just got sheds around it. There's sheds all over in here. You guys check out my shed hunting videos. And I uh, do some pretty crazy shed hunting vid. I mean, die hard shed hunting. Kind of like my trapping. Get off work, run them through the woods looking for sheds. Hayden Baxter, the giveaway is tomorrow night. Yes, Brody Baron, I buy from f and Crystal's in the house. My sister Crystal right there. Thanks for coming in. Nate 408 just turned 35. He's a youngin'. Brett says he loves the sheds, man. I find a quite a few. Like over 100 sheds. And I ain't even hardly going very far. Yes, I love venison. Hey, what bait do you use in your dog proof? Is that what I just seen? Hang on. Nicholas Pulley Outdoors says, my bobcat, my bobcat ate my 10 pointer, but I did get the rack. Sucks it didn't have the meat. Yeah, it does suck. Shut up, Tyler, with your 19 years old. What bait do I use in dog proofs? I use the big marshmallow on the trigger. That's, that's the key deal. Because they're going to reach in and grab that marshmallow. You pierce it right on the trigger. And then... Dribble a little bit of dog food and some syrup on there. You're good. Or you can go look at my video I got for making rat cane bait. Hey, 330 Maniac. I recently subbed and I'm learning from the videos. He's a badass trapper. And fisherman. Crazy ice fishing. Hey, Trapper J. That's a nice looking doggy caught with a dark goat. Coat. Yeah, it was awesome. There's two of them now. I got one yesterday and then I got one, you know, a few weeks ago. Zach Cherry says, I've been slowly getting into trapping. I'm 15 years old. Keep at it. Keep adding traps. That's what one thing. It's, it takes a while to get your uh, arsenal up. I, when I started out, I kept using my fur money to buy more traps. I have. Do you have any videos of you skinning coyotes? I don't have any because I suck at it. And they're such a pain in the ass. I do a lot of cussing. I will be rabbit hunting, Aaron. I'm in Northwest Missouri. You gotta go to the giveaway video, Christopher. Scott Swift, my other sister's in here too. Misty is my sister also. And Tyler's my nephew. Pondums is my great grandpa. If anybody sees Pondums outdoors, that's my great grandpa. Tyler Wolverd, love the videos. I just got trapped yesterday. What'd you get, bro? I want to trap, but I'm a full-time college student and work at a welding shop. Any tips? Oh, man, you're busy. I work full-time, but I'm very dedicated trapper. I'll go in the morning and afternoons and spend my whole weekend setting traps. So you're going to have to probably wait until you're out of college and just full-time job. Just do you a small line, though. Maybe get you some dog proofs and some... Other raccoon traps and just have fun catching some fur for a little bit until you get unbusy. You're a pretty busy guy, it looks like. I heard a party foul. Man damn. Oh, 
Yeah, the bottle fell over. Am I that far behind? Jeez. Two smaller, number one. Nathan Smart just bought some traps and anchors. What anchors did you go with? Did you go with wolf fangs? You can't beat a wolf fang. And no, I'm not sponsored by wolf fangs. That's what I use. What is the smallest trap you have? I have a number one, not in here. It's uh, turned into a, a decoration in the house. Number one, long spring. I'm just starting with raccoons and mink and muskrat. That'll work. I need to get some wolf fangs. MTM. In, MTN Tough Outdoors says. I am slowly getting a buzz, guys. Wait, that's a real trap. I need one. You talking about the, uh, the bear trap? Yeah, it's a real trap. It's a duke. And I probably should have showed old Bill Duke when he was in here. And if you're in here, Bill, check out this Duke trap. Of course, you've seen him, but whatever. <laughs> how, how should I get good at trapping? Just work at it. Read the sign. You need to learn to root, see what the coons do, you know, what the coyotes do. Once you start seeing their trails and stuff, you'll start getting a lot better. Trap what you have. That's what I say, I guess. If you ain't got no coyotes there, you ain't gonna catch no coyotes. Sasquatch. I'm 12, just started, but I've caught an opossum every day. Gotta get them out of there. That's the only way to get rid of them. Get rid of the opossums and you'll start catching other critters. I use the C-clamp to compress the springs, Lester. Otherwise it takes like two guys on each spring and then someone's set in the pan. Get free wolf fangs on F and T post. I did. This bag right here came in my, my, my little kit. My, it was my free gift. What do you get for raccoon fur if you don't mind asking? Up to $12 just skinned. And it'll be a few more dollars more if you uh, dry them. My sister Crystal dropping five dollars. Cheers, guys. Everybody take a drink. We're gonna get drunk. Woo! Fire! Ponham's Outdoors still in here. Bobby leaving. Thanks for coming in, Bobby. One here, did you find the crackhead trap? Sorry, man, I gotta work in the morning. Fresh start, take it easy. Bobby Rogers, thanks for coming in, man. Engel Trapping made it. Where's Engel Trapping? Do you pickle your quail eggs? If so, how long do you boil them for? I have never pickled eggs, Charlie. How long do you recommend having the cable on the earth anchors? A very good uh, size would be 15 inches. You can buy them in 12, 15, and 18, and 32, and like 40, I think. But you won't, if you get 12, when you go up next to the creek beds, you might not have enough meat in the ground. So 15 to 18, depending on what you're trapping. 15 would be good for coyote. 18 if you're if you're trapping swamps, I would prefer 18. And if you start making your own, you won't even make a mark. You just lay them out and cut them and use them. How much was crackhead trap? My mom won this crackhead trap at a trapping convention probably three or four years ago. She came down to see see me at a trap. Uh, it was like a get together. All the trappers. She bought like five dollars worth of raffle tickets and won this trap. And then she moved to an apartment and she don't have nowhere to put it, so I'm hanging on to it. Why wolfing over a super steak anchor? Uh, I've never used a super steak. I just use wolf fangs. I went from rebar to wolf fangs and I'll never go to anything else. How are y'all doing tonight? Houseman Outdoors. Thanks for coming in. Where are we at? I'm still here. Got traps to check and set tomorrow. Me too. 
I got to do all this too. I got a cattle farm to set up. That's going to be different because I don't really care for cows, really. <laughs> I like to eat the hamburgers, but I don't like being in a... I don't... I had too many bulls chase me when I was younger. I don't really care for it. Hello, everyone. Triple Nickel Trapper was talking about you, Trapper J. Thanks for coming in, Kent. Appreciate it. Yeah, Dwayne Lazar's. He's got a badass channel, too. Jason Ozzel says, past your bedtime, Pondum. Is my great-grandpa Pondum's in here? Pondum's, you still in here? Great-grandpa Pondum's outdoors. <laughs> Bama Boy 97 says, what's up, Trapper? Love the vids. Bro, keep up the great content. Thanks for coming in, man. Should I keep trapping in the same spot? Have you been catching anything in that same spot? I got traps that's been out since November 15th and haven't caught a single thing yet. It all depends on what, how many traps you got. If you got enough traps so you can uh, justify it, then just leave it. If not, move it somewhere and maybe you'll catch something. You got to constantly move around a little bit if you don't have enough traps. Linkless, Linkless Tennessee said super steaks are good too. Let's see. I got plenty of traps where I can just leave a set. Plus, I know that it's caught in previous years, so that kind of helps out a little bit. But muskrats and raccoons, yeah, I would move them around quite a bit. Sometimes it takes a while to catch coyotes, though. Once you go to Super Steaks, you'll never go back. I don't want to buy them. I got, the the wolfangs are so cheap. That's $5 right there for a dozen. So cheap. I'm already all set up. I'm good. And I can actually pull a lot of my wolf fangs out. It's hard, but I can do it. When I get older, I probably won't be able to. I flesh and board my rats. And hang them right up here on boards. I got a whole stack of boards right here. Just hang them right up here on the thing. And they dry. And then I, just re and then I take them off the boards and I got hangers for them. Right here, looks like a gigantic clothes hanger. I put all my rats on here, hang them up until I'm ready to ship them off. Just a never ending cycle once I get started. Right now they're all just in the freezer waiting for me. Bob Lee says, do you think Eastern coyotes are smarter than Western coyotes? I have no idea, man. I just think a coyote's a coyote. What are you talking about, Pondums? Bill Duke, you come back in. Stinking. No, it doesn't stink in here. My cousin asked me that too. Justin Mason wants to see a werewolf. <laughs> Hang on. My nephew wants to see a werewolf. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. This is the best werewolf I got. Look, why the long face? He's been scared. He's been scant. Sandy K, thank you for coming in, and I really appreciate it, Sandy. Trapper J, love the live streams. I'm going to head out and try to maybe order some stuff, maybe a flesh and knife to start skinning myself. I hope you do, man. Thanks for coming in, Peyton. I do not hunt. I felt bad. I do not hunt. Personally, I hit a damn buck the other day. The other guy stopped, wanted the deer, told him, gets it off my hoodie. It was his. At least it got used. It didn't go to waste. Tommy wants to know, if you don't mind, how much do you get from muskrat skinned out on average? Just skinned. I've never sold any muskrats just skinned. So it's probably going to be like two bucks if you just skin it. Five dollars right now, what they're saying, if you uh, dry it. That's the smell of money. I think fur shed smell fantastic. Nothing like the smell of drying fur. Yeah, it doesn't smell horrible. My wife comes in here like, oh my God, what does that smell? But that could just be, that could just be the soul taker in here, you know? It's not the dead animal. Of course, if I don't empty my trash can, you know, then that starts to stink a little bit. John, what's John to say here? 
I love the smell too, 330 Mania. Do another how to trap a crackhead video. The first one was so funny. We might be able to make one of those happen. I did some video, I did a video with Flair, Josh. Should be coming out. I don't know when he's gonna put it out. I went to his farm on last Sunday. If you see a video come out about an otter, that would be me. What was your best year? Right now, I'm having a pretty good year. I don't know what my best one. Last year, I got nine bobcats. That's pretty awesome. Do you live by Omaha, Nebraska? I am 50 minutes south of Omaha, right along I-29. Keith, Bruning. You guys can see I have to get closer. I'm getting cross-eyed. <laughs> Okay, time to drink, my fellow drinkers. Where are you at? I just about put somebody in timeout. Steve-O, the main thing on Fox is your traps have to be bedded good. They are bad about digging them up. Yeah, exactly what Pondem said. Lots of crackheads in CB. There are a few. They're a little bit everywhere. Let's see. Signing out. Harry Paget. thanks for coming in, Harry. James Miller, what's the coolest thing you've ever trapped? Every time I trap a bobcat, or a mink, or an otter, you guys will be able to hear it in my voice, how excited I am. Let's see, when was the last deer he killed? I haven't killed one this season yet. Maybe this weekend I can get one. I usually shoot a buck every year. This might be the first year I don't get a buck. And I might not even go hunting. I might just set traps instead. It's hard to juggle it all. Only we know what CB is. Uh, I was born in CB, Sean. Right now I have a goal to catch a coyote every day, Jared. But right now, today did not happen. The warm weather is screwing me up right now. It's getting warm, and then it's freezing, and then it's warm, and then it's freezing. Yes, Gabriel, I had a badger this se this season. It's in one of the vlogs. What's kicking, chicken? Steve Staggs, what's up? Sam got a real nice nine. Yeah. Kevin Poe, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I'm probably gonna get off here in about 10 minutes, guys. I gotta rest up for tomorrow's live. I gotta, yes, trap upon them. I'm setting up the cattle farm tomorrow and I'm gonna try to go hunting and then I gotta go live. <laughs> Same thing, the wife's not around. There's Engel trapping. The guys were saying last year, Engel, that one that made the paper, my bobcat that went the paper, they were thinking he would have been somewhere between 35 and 40. But I've never weighed one. Let's see, what do you use to trap for trap covers? Where in the hell did I put them at? I use the latex pan covers and I had them right here somewhere. I need them for tomorrow, so I don't know. There they are. Just latex. Can you can you go live? I might try it. I'm I'll go to I'll go to Walmart and get me a phone holder tomorrow. When I go live, I won't be able to read the chat, obviously, a lot. But there's the uh, latex pan covers I've been using. You just lay the whole thing over it. I'll go get me a tripod for my phone. Bill Duke, what's up? Hey Bill, check this Duke out. Here you go. My wall hanger. It was in the uh, how to make a trap trap a uh, crackhead video. And it's gonna be on the wall here soon. I'm sure you've seen plenty of those, but I'm pretty excited about it. Please tell Flair to to mouse trap. <laughs> That's awesome. Why not just wax paper? 
I, I don't like how noisy it is. It crinkles really bad. Imagine setting that, Josh says. Yeah, I've done it. Thanks for the live vid. It was very informative. I just fish in South Louisiana. Thanks. Thanks for coming in, Charlie. You can use wax paper, but I think it's too noisy. Ingle, it don't look like it was that slow. It looked like you caught some pretty good uh, stuff. I used to use a lot of peat moss. Where am I at? I lost it. Matt Moorhead says, Trapper J, you asked where I lived. I'm just south of Omaha, near Flair. I'll run with you on the trap line, brother. I'm like super close to Flair. Must be neighbors. I have learned a lot, lol, Cody said. <laughs> I hope so. I just try to show you guys that I'm sitting on trails and why I sat there. I'm, I'm getting a lot better at explaining stuff than I used to be. Corbin Bailey, where are you at, Missouri? I'm in Northwest. Yes, I use Hellfire Lure, New Living. Lots of lots of Hellfire. It's awesome. I used to do that sooner, man. I used to catch a lot of mice right here in the shed. Because right here, a lot of people don't realize it right here. Okay. Bear with me. Tipsy. Man down. Right there is the way out of this beast. But right here goes to a storm cellar where I hang all my furs and thaw them out easier. And there's fans down there and it's a dungeon. But the mice like it. Uh, 330 Maniac, appreciate it, brother. Take it easy, man. Get your merch out. Teespring don't cost nothing. You go in there to design it and... Figure out what price you want, and then you get whatever that they don't want. You should do a video on the layout of your fur shed. Well, there's not much to it. It's this, and then that. But I have videos of it. Leg old Chuck, what's up, man? Okay, we're 12 away from 600 likes, guys. If anybody could, doesn't hit the like button... Please do so. Let's see if we can hit that 600. Hit that like button. If it looks like this, nail that sucker. 590. We're going to get it. 595. Five more. Boom. 603. Appreciate it, guys. That was awesome. Just nailed that somebody. I want some traps, BNC Vid says. Can you do a video of how you process your furs? Yeah, I got a lot of videos I need to get going. I'm slowing down a little bit, so I'll get some of that stuff taken care of, guys. I got to get a video next week of my drowning rods. I've been putting that one off. I've been getting a lot of questions about the drowning rods. I use cable restraints. Do you use just mice lure? The new, the new uh, bait I got from Jeff Dunlass is liquid mouse. I just started using that today. For a whole water iron, 25 bucks. I've been trapping since I was a little kid, Jace man. My uncle used to raccoon trap when I was little. You're gonna show those remakes. What remakes? I try not I can't show like all my trapping because nobody would want to watch it. Me driving around for three hours checking empty traps. I just started watching, but your intro is so cool, Dakota. Thanks, man. Phil Proctor, what's up? Thanks for coming in. I want someone to bring me another beer, Nate408 says. Seymour says, cheers. Let's see. What's a good bait for coyote for beginners? Anything. I don't know. I don't really have a preference. Just whatever I buy. I, I try to get stuff from everybody. I met a lot of good people at the NTA this year, and I tried to use, I tried to buy some from everybody. I don't think I have a certain bait that I would have to have. 
I've met Jeff Dunlap. He's a hell of a guy. He talks to me every time I see him. Messages me. I message him and talk to him. So I've kind of just kind of like, you know what? He talk, He messages me back. I'm going to just run his shit then. So that's where I'm at right now. Get with it, Sawyer. And it, it don't matter if you only have like a couple of yoke traps or one. Just go to your local hardware store and buy one. Or have your parents. You don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff. Chris Hopkins is close to close to Mound City. Um, probably 20 minutes from Mound City, Chris. My kids go down there and play play Mound City in basketball. Okay, I'm headed your way. Stay buzzed, Matt says. I don't know, surely, sports. Right now, it all depends on how much footage I get of setting that farm and what I catch tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to trap squirrels this weekend, Josh. Two hundred eleven still in here, guys. I appreciate it so much. I'm about an hour from. Depends on how fast you drive. From Maryville, Pat. I like to go over there and go fishing at Mazingo. I do think Tractor Supply has traps. I know Orsland does too, or Bass Pro. Wester Outdoors, what's up? You ever use lure from John Pingley? I have not. I do go carp. Sh I do. Uh, I like to gig, James. Asshole one says I caught my first coyote in a blind trail set last year. Then blind trail says work. Shauna says keep trying. You'll catch a yoke. Saw your Horton. I still got my moonshine. Cody says. Give me tips on snares. Brush it in the best you can. I don't use well. They're actually a snare, but I use cable restraints. They don't have a locking lock. You know, it's relaxed. And you got to brush them in real good. Juniper fishing kid just cut his first raccoon yesterday. Congratulations, bud. Yeah, DNR Outdoors, I did. I went over to his over to his farm and we made a video. It should be coming out soon. Not from me. It's going to be on his channel. No, Bennett, Mason, I'm not. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> My nephew almost went to play for Nebraska. No, I'm not. Oklahoma Sooners. Or Missouri or, or Iowa. Hi, Terry. I never know when I'm going to stop going live. I always look up and see that I got so many people, you know, I'm like, I'm just going to keep going. But Bill Duke, I really appreciate you being in here, man. I got a pretty good group that really enjoys Duke Traps, Bill. And a lot of new kids, that's how I started was with Duke Traps, so. I will promote them till the end. I like to say buy what you can afford, but there's a lot of people that are out there that's pushing for most expensive traps out there. Bennett says go Hawkeyes. I always say if I had to start with those expensive traps, then I wouldn't be a trapper today because my parents would have never got me those expensive ones. Bill, buy Jay, buy Jay a drone. What do I need a drone for? That would be some cool footage. I am just can't wait until them 650s come out. Jason says, thanks for being here tonight, Bill Duke. Man down on the moonshine, Big Boone says. Bully fishing, catching cooked coyote. Man, that's, that, that just does not sound very good. You guys should go talk to Flair into that one. What did I just see? I missed something. Here. Do you let any animals go you catch? I let a lot of possums go. It all depends on how I'm feeling. I let small bobcats go.
Let's see. Corbin Bailey dropping 99 cents. Thank you, Corbin. Guys, check out Corbin Bailey dropping 99 cents. Appreciate it, little brother. Do you think the Seahawks or Eagles will win this weekend? Oh, man. I, I don't really know much about either one of those, but I would hope the Eagles would take it. Jay needs a Polaris. That's what I need, Sean, a Polaris. How am I going to haul someone? You know, I don't know if y'all have heard this, but I don't do the nut to butt. You know, no one's riding on the back of my four wheeler with me. They're going to have to walk. <laughs> You should help Flair trap some yotes. He's struggling, LOL. Hey, he's got one coming up in a video, guys. He's, he's picking up the pace a little bit. He went with me on the line, then I went with him on his line. It's He's going to be doing good at some point. Does Flair ever give you any skins? Maybe. Carp ganging would be an awesome video. Well, that can definitely happen. Definitely going to be some frog gigging. Matt Moorhead, $2. Man down, I'm drunk. Oh, well, good night, brother. Matt Moorhead, appreciate it, man. See you tomorrow night in the live. I'll have one for you on your way out, brother. That's a t-shirt. I got the man down t-shirt coming. I'm going to be wearing one of my live streams. Bright orange. 550s are a heavier built and cast jaw. From what I'm hearing, 650s are going to be exactly like a 550. That's going to be so badass. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Here, I'll set one right now. Hang on. Straight out of the box. I got the box right here. Just got in the night. Oh. Ta da. Brr. Yeah. That's the best part of the whole gig, is every time you set them, even right after a raccoon. Don't mind my hat. It's got glitter on it. Bear trap shirt, Jay. Nut to butt. Is that the shirt you're talking about? No, nut to butt. No. Uh, right here. Click. Hear that? Bam. Love it. You just grab them out of the box and usually you get trapped and you're like, you know, I'm going to have to adjust all the pans and shit, you know? You like bush lattes? No, Bud Light. What do you use for scroll? Because I got one in my attic. I'm going to use some 110s. Tim Lucas dropping 4 dollars says, hey, I'm in Missouri also. Could you show how to set up a cable restraint sometimes, please? Your channel is awesome. Hey, Tim, I got a cable restraint video. And I got several other in my vlogs. But yeah, I will. You'll see it this weekend. Man, damn. Those 550s are lit. They are lit. But look, right out of the box. Hang on. I ain't doing nothing but setting them. And um, my eyes are crossed. Pans up. Ready? Uh-oh. Click. Hear that? Oh, you can't get... I can never get over that click. I've got night latch traps. None of them click like that. Do the skull set. I got to do that skull set. I got to remember that. I need me a secretary. I just thought about that the other day after the last live stream. How do you skin a mink? You skin them just the same as a raccoon. Will that kill it or will it be alive? What are we talking about, Josh? This year... This year of trapping is pissing me off. I've lost three coyotes. Well, how'd you lose them, man? Just toe catches? Or, or just people stealing them? Caden, Baker. It kind of happens, man. Sometimes they just pull out. They twist and pull out. I love your night latch click. Yes, it's awesome. Hello from West Virginia. like watching your trap line vids. 45 minutes again. Yeah, I said I was done 10 minutes ago, but that was like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> no, no, maybe tomorrow night, Lance. I know what you're talking about now. I might put my hand in the trap tomorrow. 
Hi, Jay, like I promised, here's 50 bucks for your channel. Walk the line, buddy. How many times have you trapped yourself? Uh, quite a few times. Just in a couple days ago in a video, I trapped myself. Obviously, R5, what do you do with the meat? I got some people that like to keep the muskrat meat to eat, but the raccoons, usually the chickens eat them after I skin them. You just case skin the raccoon. Jupiter, cross the legs. I got a skinning video up here on, you'll have to go find it. Just two catches and two on two and one was stolen. Yeah, I'm surprised the ones that someone shot of mine. They didn't take them. That's what she said. Oh, well. <laughs> DNR Outdoors, how do you make your own coyote and bobcat bait with muskrat? I'm going to have a combination of muskrat and bobcat. Or, <laughs> not bobcat, but uh, beaver. Okay, now that there's not near as many people in here, my bobcat is going to be called Stanky Puss. Keep your eye out for it. I will start on Amazon. How's that for a name? Brian Morrow says love Duke Traps. And I gotta go, first I gotta go make sure no one else has that name. And then that will be uh, my, my uh, Bobcat bait. Prairie Girl, what's up? They're all over in here, see? They're thawing out right now. I'd pay you to help me. Taylor, if you were close by, I would just come and show you a few pointers. <laughs> Seeing him outdoors is laugh my ass off. I thought you guys might like that. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if there's anyone else using that yet, so I gotta go find that out. I wax my traps every every beginning of every season. These traps will not be waxed; they'll just be boiled the oil off, and I'm gonna go plant them all wax next year. Lane Williams says, I just ordered my Trapper Outdoors hoodie. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for your support, man. How can I trap a coyote? How can I trap to catch a coyote? I just use you a massive dirt hole set. If you're on alongside of a bean field, make it so that it's so messy that coyotes will see it from anywhere. Big old dirt pile. Put your trap right inside the hole. Just look at some of my videos. You, it takes a while to get one. What are you saying? How do you go between checking traps? Can I get a shout out name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah wants a shout out. Tiffany. Thanks for being here, Jeremiah. Zach Cherry wants a shout out from central Pennsylvania. Burnt piece of firewood works well, Sam Phillips says. Yes, it does. I actually, we burnt some wood piles one time and a bunch of rabbits came out. They were kind of singed. And I used them for bait. And I caught a lot of coyotes that year off of singed rabbits. And Cody says that's what she said. Ooh, Terry caught himself in a 3.30. That'd be horrible. How long do you go without checking your traps? I check them every single day, buddy. Every day I make that trip. And if you don't catch anything for three or four days, it starts to be a pain in the butt. Can you trap in snow? Because I live in Minnesota. Last year I had snow all trapping season. All I do is uh, wherever I make my sets, I clear out a big section of snow and I make, make it look all dirty. Sooner man, what's up? Yeah, I'm still alive. I'm just chilling. How do you skin a raccoon? You're going to have to watch my skinning video, buddy. It's one of the vlogs. It's got, it says it right on the, right on the thumbnail, skin in. Hang on here. Tria TZ Fritzo. Oh no, you gave me the hard one. 56 wants a shout out from Arkansas. 
I recommend you making your channel name just a little bit easier to read. Maybe I can read it just fine tomorrow when I'm not kind of had a bottle of alcohol. Thank you for being here, though. How do you trap cows in periods of heavy rain? I just keep checking my sets and making sure that they can fire once in a while because they will get mud underneath the pans. 24 hours. Oh, man. Brandon says, how do you find a raccoon trail? Where are you at, Brandon? Where do you live at? But you should be able to go to any culvert that goes under the road, and you can see that trail just so wide, beat down going out of there. there I'll, ha I'll have to go make a video just on trails. Kevin, I appreciate you being in my streams. Thank you, Jeremy. Luke's RCS22 wants a shout out. Thank you for being here, Luke. Are you getting tipsy? My wife says. My wife is down in Texas. Here, get this. I gotta I gotta talk about my nephew for a minute. My nephew just signed to play for Iowa Hawkeyes, and he's down in Texas at the like a Pro Bowl, all American Bowl, for high school kids. And he's kicking ass down there. So it won't be long. My nephew's going to be playing for Iowa. About time to open another bottle. Okay, there's my wife right there, Eleanor. I'm going to go steal your vodka. What's whose name? Bennett Mason? Let's go. What's his name? Oh, Logan Jones. He's going to be a badass. Out of Council Bluffs, Iowa. Can you tell Flair to trap mice because his camper is full? Outdoorsman, his camper was half underwater all season. He don't even need to worry about his camper. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a badass. He won state and shot put and district. Yeah, CB. My wife says no vodka for you. Tell me how many kids can go to state and win shot put and discus and, at the same time. That's crazy. Shout out from Texas. What is the best bait for coyote? Corey Ewing, what's up? Uh, the best bait I've been using is Top Dog from Hoosier Trevor Supply. And anything with Jeff Dunlap. I use his liquid bait. I've been catching with that too. I use them both at the same time. Isaac McNeil wants to know, what's up, Trapper J? Question, I have a swamp behind the house. What's the best way to get rid of beaver? Problem we have. I think caster mounds be the easiest for someone unless you've done a lot of trapping and then find their dens. Put a 330 in front of it. Prairie girl saying hi to Eleanor. All I have is straight up woods. No fields or open areas. Do you have any trapping in the woods? Do you have any trails, like a four-wheeler trail or anything through your woods? You can catch coyotes in the woods, but it's tough. Can you tell Flair to do my traps and videos? Yeah. I <laughs> tell her, <laughs> tell her her hair looks good. It's always a good, good escape. Sam says, "I like Welch's baits too." I love outdoors though. This year or right now? Actually, I got one yesterday. Two days without a coyote. I got catches. I, I caught some possums today. I catch something every day, but I'm trying to get a coyote every day, at least. I don't count. I don't count going and getting three coyotes one day and then then nothing. I don't count that. That don't even make my average. I just want one every day at least. I use cable restraints, Thea. Pascal Warner, what's up? Says how are you? I'm doing good, man. Have you ever been bit by a coyote? No, I have not. Best bait is Federale's Soul Taker or Hiawatha Bait Valley. <laughs> Best way to get rid of a beaver is drop them off at the bar. All I've got to trap is woods. Hard to catch you out. That sounds really tough, man, but it could be bobcats in there, though. 
what do you think about doing some survival trapping videos? Yeah, see, that's what I want to do with Tyler Woods Bushcraft. I get my baits from F&T also, Colton. Nate says, come see me in North Carolina. I trap, I trap woods most of the time. You are on, you are on your line a bunch. Work graveyard. I work, I work 7.30 to 4 every day, guys. I, uh, it's in the mornings and afternoons. I gotta check my line. I wish I worked graveyards, honestly. How far would you space your coyote sets? I, uh, I like to double them up. Just out of reach of each other, plenty far enough. Chick, 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 chick. Sean wants to hear my chicken call. That's what people were saying earlier. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? Can you do your chicken call? They come running. Chick, 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 chick. That's hilarious. I didn't know what the hell you guys were talking about. Does trapping end ever? Yes, I'm, it gets, there's a season. It doesn't seem like that long when you're doing it. My daughter just texted and says, I'm way behind on the chat, guys. Let me get caught up here. I ain't that far behind. Okay, I'm back. Angel Trappin's got chickens up there. What time will your live stream be tomorrow? 7 p.m. Central. Oh, no. Oh, no. We love the frogs. Yeah, there's a lot of frogs out because of the flood. b and O's still in here. All my mods kicking ass tonight. Guys, if you see a mod, go subscribe to their channel. They're all trappers, mostly. Shauna is just the best mod in the world that you could ever have. And I haven't seen her. Where'd she go? Shauna, you still here? I've been ignoring my mods. I apologize. What do you do with the coyotes after you're done trapping for the day? I brush them up and clean them up and put them in the freezer usually. What did you do? What would you do that every 20 yards, 100 yards? Doesn't matter. Right now on my cables, I'm putting them probably 20 yards apart on the same trail. I really would like to get a double 20 yards apart. The closer you got them together, the better you can say it's a double. That's the, I don't know if it's a double if it's on the other side of the property. If you can see them, line of sight, you got a double. And you ain't going to get a double if you ain't got two sets right there. Who will the last one here? Who will be the last one here? Last man standing. We're low, we're losing people. We're losing people. We're 191 people in the house. 646 likes. Let's do another like hit. Pound that like button. It looks like this. Nail that sucker. Let's go. 646. Let's see how many we can get. If you haven't hit the like, hit it. There we go. 649. 654. That's the way we do her. Appreciate it. 655. Awesome. I knew you guys were holding out on me. <laughs> How many freezers do you have for all the fur been catching? I actually had to unload some stuff here recently. 668, 672 likes. I appreciate it, guys. We got uh, four freezers here, and they're big old chest freezers. 200 in the chat. See more says I'm here. I'll win. <laughs> man down. We're getting pretty close to man down. Yes, if you can see him, it's a double, BNO says. Anyone drinking still? How many dislikes? I can't see that. But I'll tell you that tomorrow's live because I can see it in my analytics. I can't see it though on here. Alexis, can you go see how many dislikes we got? I bet you there's... Oh, what do we got? We've got we've had a lot of people in here. Um, I want to say 17 dislikes. That's my number. Who wants to guess? Whoever's closest when I get off of this live stream will win a shirt. Who wants a shirt? Closest dislikes. Tyler Fayla says, "Kill it." Are you sitting on most of your fur? What do you mean? No, I sell everything. I like to sell a lot of my stuff to my local fur buyers. Because they're still here after all the shit that they've went through with, with NAFA and stuff. 
kill that bottle. I'm getting close. But you know what the mean when I'm out of liquor, you know what that means, right? The end. I will win. Just started my shift at work. You guys will all pass out. How long before you skin your coyotes after you freeze them? You can skin them. You could freeze them for two years or three years and then skin them if you wanted to. Okay, we got Team Ambush says 14, Seymour says 21, Mighty Wolf says 23. Up, oh, Mighty Wolf and, and Winsies. Outdoors says 23 together, so that ain't going to work. Nathan Smart, he's uh, being positive and saying three. 25? Oh, my God. People hate me. Cedar Man says six. Linguist Tennessee says none. Brandon says 13. Nate says 11. I'll remember this. It was me. I disliked it. Prairie Girl says, I knew that. As soon as I saw you, I knew I had a dislike. <laughs> Jason says 19. Pascal says 27. He's got high hopes. Sawyer, 33. 19, 25, 10. That don't mean y'all need to be hitting the the uh, dislike. Oh, there it is. Alexis says 23. Who's got 23? I'm going to have to do... Alexis, go up. Write these down, Alexis. Okay, Jacob Bro Bull. Write him down. And oh, uh, where are we at? Hang on one second, guys. Uh, oh, never mind. She just texted me. Says that's her guest. Twenty three is her guest too. So I won't know until after the show. And if there's multiple of the same ones, we're gonna go any, mini mighty mail. Sixty nine, Jacob. Really? That kills me. A tear kind of formed in my eye from that one. <laughs> Too many haters these days, yeah. Hey, I got a hater earlier that uh, said, well, it looks like I'm just going to pick a winner out of the... A lot of people said 23. We're going to find out when I'm done here. One dollar, Bob. I said 12 first. What are we guessing? We're guessing how many dislikes I got without you guys dis disliking it on purpose. b &O, man, thanks for coming in and hanging out as long as you did, man. I appreciate it. Take care, brother. If people dislike this, there's something wrong with them, as <laughs> Zach says. I get a lot of them. I actually got several people that dislike, like, instantly when I when I upload a video. You'll I'll see same three people every day. Mighty Wolf, she thought it was, she was just guessing 23. She was supposed to be looking for me, but she just guessed 23. So we'll find out. My mods are dope. Shauna's awesome. Check out Shauna. She's always in here running links and stuff. <laughs> Scott Swift says, to be honest, nine. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more like, guys. Let's nail the sucker. Let's, we're at 686. Let's see if there's enough of you that haven't liked it that can hit us to 700 likes. Hit that hit that like button. Looks like this. Lane Goodman Outdoors says one. Now he says two. Remember, I can go and do a replay. I'll see exactly who was the first one that says it. So, 705. Man, I ought to, un I ought to block you right now, Senior Man. <laughs> Six more likes, guys. Three more likes. Never would have ever dreamed from all the live streams I did earlier in the year where I couldn't even hardly get 40 likes that you guys would get me 700 likes. Chris Hopkins, he's he's bailing. He's the last. He's not going to be the last man standing. Tomorrow's going to be epic, guys. I, I hope to see everybody here tomorrow. Two more likes, guys. We just need two more. I'm not, he says. <laughs> Senior man, thanks for being here. Appreciate everyone that's here. Even my great-grandpa, Pondham's Outdoors. You guys, he's on, he's on his deathbed. Can you go over and subscribe to my great-grandpa, Pondham's Outdoors? It would mean a lot to me before he passes away. 
<laughs> okay, cheers, guys. <laughs> someone was just, someone was just seven hundred. Now it's six ninety nine. Someone just disliked it. Seven oh one. Bam, guys, you guys are awesome. Six ninety nine again. Someone's playing with the buttons. Someone's still guessing. 45 dislikes. John says I removed my like. 702 likes, guys. Never would have imagined it. I can't even hardly get that many views. That was so funny. Your post earlier about the ch chill camera for every set. <laughs> yeah. I've been getting all kinds of crazy views. I got a guy that... Not views, but comments. The guy said that he hates my channel because of my intro. What am I supposed to say to that? I just told him, thank you for the view. I'm sad, Texas Outdoors says. Hey, I got this little drink left. Hang on. Okay, guys, you know what that means? That I'm going to leave 212 of you guys hanging. 709 light. Likes, I can't believe it. You guys are awesome. Haters are people who can't trap. Yeah, I love the intro too. That's why it's on there. And all the feedback. That's why I'm like, what do you guys think about the ending? Man down, man down. Love it. Okay, guys. Appreciate everyone that's been here. Linkless Tennessee, Scott Swift, Lucas Lee, OH Outdoors, Jade Tavern Tavernier, Shane, James, Phillips. Team Ambush, Nate, Corbin, Aaron, Brandon, Jacob, Dylan, I'm trying, Rube556, five, five, Nathan Smart, Dan, all you guys, Prairie Girl, Brooks, Lance, Jason Housel, Ponham's Outdoors, Shauna, appreciate you guys all in blue, you guys worked your asses off, Tyler, you should be down here tomorrow night, call in, get drunk with me. Jacob, Brooke, Big Boons. Thanks for being in here, Big Boons. Thought you were getting rid of Big Boons, by the way. Making Stone, thanks for being here. Judith Davis, you're awesome. Richard, Brandon, I'm trying to shout some people out. SI Outdoors. Sean Griffith, I'm probably repeating them now. CNM Outdoors. Roy Gehring, Bryce. Called you out, Tyler. <laughs> okay, guys. Much love, guys. Appreciate it. How do I get out of this sum?